I tell you what, you missed uh, <laughs> you missed the stream there. <laughs> the stream's over, that was definitely uh, too good. Hey guys! <laughs> and welcome back to Roll the Damn Dice. I forgot the name of our show then, that's good going, isn't it? Um, uh, the new season of From the Ashes! <gasps> Ooh, yeah, um, eagle eyed viewers might know we have a new person at the table today. What? What? <laughs> The competition winner. <laughs> yeah, this is the bottom place prize. Top prize was a uh, guest spot on Crit Roll, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm out. See you later. Uh, so Tony's been working with us behind the scenes for longer than I've been part of it, so... Library year. Yeah. Mm, she joined us last year, she was a little, had a little guest spot. She had a little spot. cameo in Just Sleep. Yeah. Just oh. Sleep. As the, as the lovely Kay. Oh. Oh, she may have both gone melt. She yeah. might be dead. She made to <laughs> <laughs> She's not that white. <laughs> <laughs> she, she wisely made... told Morn that she was the best type of dragonborn. So wisely? Yeah. Was she that wise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... There was a lot of emotions. It caused a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, both. In. Same again tonight? Yeah. So I'm yeah, real bracing myself <laughs> tonight. Tony's yeah. back to so chaos. Everyone's gonna hate me, I'm gonna get fired from the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to watch it live. <laughs> 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 but today's a bit of a cosy one, I'm not feeling very well, everyone's a bit chill, so make yourself a cup of tea, we're just gonna go with the lateral flow today, you know. Oh, <laughs> my oh. Thank you, been saving that one all week. <laughs> <laughs> When Connor said make yourself a cup of tea at four people on the table, just like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a drink of mine. It's definitely not for us. No, you mentioned it. It's not tea. Um, <laughs> so, we, uh, as you, if you, I mean, I hope you came last week and saw, we have a lovely new sponsor in Critit, which did this. Ooh, lovely things. Ooh. I've got a coaster. Nice, um, nice trays. I don't know why I'm shaking. I'll show you my. I'm, I'm the pipe shop. That's a nice yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just can't see the trident on this dice, but I'm giving That'll it a good very, go. very oh, no. <laughs> very very good. Stephen loves it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's got trident size. It's got trident size. It's got trident size. Okay, it's got trident size. Made of Christmas Stephen. Stephen's into tridents, I've heard. Yeah. yeah. I've got one. I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's the one I'm looking for. Oh, there you go. I've brought it myself now. Um, so yeah, uh, and uh, we're, we're currently giving away this lovely uh, lovely DM screen. That DM screen. This DM screen. That Not DM this one. Screen. That one. Um, and as a result of that, Stephen, I think you've got a little announcement to make. Yeah, so um, thank you so much, everybody that entered. Um, it's been really great that um, you watched the episode and was able to give us those magic numbers we were looking for. And it was really cool to interact with you. So um, all week, myself and Tony have been going through social media. Uh, next time, Connor, if you could just send them to one place rather than anywhere on the internet. <laughs> been through Instagram, in Twitter comments, and YouTube, no, and a carrier no, pigeon. No, no, <laughs> you know, we are everywhere, but for, for the sake of, you know, for me and Tony, one play, one piece would be, you know. You know that one scene in Harry Potter where all the owls are <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I mean, there, there was a few owls that came with uh, those owls in. So, what we're going to do is, we are going to announce it now. Ooh. I have a magical little code here that only I can understand because I kind of dyslexic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not on purpose, just a happy accident. What we should say is it won't come to you immediately. <laughs> no, it won't. It won't. Because I'm going to claw on it out of my dead hand. <laughs> yeah, because you have to kill Connor. Yeah. Um, no, we'll be coming to you immediately. We are waiting for one from Critic um, that is a Love Down Dice one, so that's going to be awesome when it comes. Because we is fancy. We are fancy <laughs> and we deserve it. Um, so we're going to borrow this one, and then as soon as that one's come, we're going to send this one out to whoever wins. Ooh. So, Connor, yeah. can you give me a D100, please? That's my job, to ask you things like that. Well, I, I just thought <laughs> how it was a bit like... Roll <laughs> <laughs> uh, me a D100, please. Yeah, of course, uh, so we've got a 30 Ooh. and a 5. 35. So that is at BookDraw um, on YouTube, um, Twitter user at Ollie Bliss. Um, I'm really happy because this is like my school friend. Oh! Just confirm that we are 30 to 35, book draw. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations! Yay. Yay. Big fan of the podcast. He's been listening since the the days we don't speak of. <laughs> 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 the dark ages. The dark times. 
Uh, intros, guys, we are gonna do them. I'm not, I've already done mine, which is me talking a lot. So we're gonna go this way around the table this time. Oh. Yeah, start with Joy Amy. Uh, my name is Joy Amy, and I am playing Loctopus Frain, who is an, well, I was gonna say an elf bard, but she's actually a high elf bard. Ooh. Um, and a little fact, factoid for you yeah. about, about Loctopus Frain. Her bright pink hair actually comes about as, um, it's an illusion that she has to ritual cast every four weeks, otherwise she starts getting kind of like mousy brown streaks in it. No. <laughs> 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 I really enjoyed that! Yeah, I raised this point with Joy Amy the other day. Yeah. She's got, uh, she got roots yet, showing. <laughs> no, no, no. Well played. Yep, oh, thank you. Thank Is that you. concentration? <laughs> <laughs> Only while you're doing the ritual cast. So if oh, she's okay. interrupted, she might get some weird streaks in there. <laughs> um, Hello, uh, my name is Moa, and I am playing Lily. Oh, sorry, Lichter. start, stop. Oh. Start, stop, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be on the side this year, this week. And for that, my friend, she's going to be extra long. <laughs> oh, no. Hello, my name is Moa, and I'm playing Lily Lixer Clambafaf Mernig. Um, my little fact about Lily is really similar, actually. Oh. It's about her hair. Oh. Lily has very, 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 very long um, green hair. And um, this was actually caused by Lox, her very big brother, um, no. as... R.I.P. No. <laughs> R.I.P. She, she still doesn't know, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> she still don't know. She still don't know. Um, when, uh, for her third birthday, he was going to be real cute and temporarily dye it for her, but the spell that he got was mistranslated and it made it green permanently and also, for some reason, made it grow real long. Um, and oh, no, 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 matter how, no matter how often she cuts it, it still keeps growing. <laughs> so, uh, Keep yeah, going, you try it. So, yeah. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> before that, it too was Mousy Brown, which Aww. made me real happy. Aww. No, we've got well, two hours these. to film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi. <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you turn it on, you spring Hi, uh, my name's Tony, and I will be playing Redacted. Um, <laughs> what a weird name for a character. <laughs> right? uh, and I'm keeping, my quiet, I'm keeping my character sort of more low key at the moment, so you'll mm. find out who they are uh, in momentarily. But I will, I, will show you, I will show you a little fact. Um, they love gold. I just love gold. Gold! <laughs> I love gold! Yeah, I was going for the so, yeah, gold. Yeah, gold. Gold member joke. You let yeah. yourself down there, mate. Spandau <laughs> <laughs> Ballet was there for the taking. You went for gold member. It's mean, always a gener it's a generational mm. thing, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, they like gold. I mean, it's, a, it's just a comedy and class thing, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a weird <laughs> name for <laughs> Comedy in class. Who's it? Who's in assassin? Yeah. I don't. Do you want to make Paul's going to get you? <laughs> 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 no, that is going everywhere. If I have hang on, it. hang on, hang on. Has has the white middle-aged man just talked over the top of the woman that's trying to introduce herself? Oh. Yeah, because people only want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Proper badly. I'll, I'll cancel myself. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Guys. <laughs> to be fair, though, highest rated episode. Paul's only in half a bit. <laughs> 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 oh, he's got Just to make <laughs> Go on, then, Paul. What's your go? Oh, uh, I'm playing Lord Torrendar, who's a dragonborn paladin. And the fact that none of you know about Torrin is he is an excellent dancer. <gasps> no way! Oh, it's so annoying that you. <laughs> He's a no way. I was literally going to go with that. Oh, no. I'm going with that. So eventually, oh my god, they're going to have to tango together. Yeah. No, I mean, he's yes. mainly his main like ballroom. He's really strong, Fox <laughs> Trot. Can you imagine Torin and Jimmy? Yeah, That'd well. Be Torrin's film being lifted. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, and, and, and modern. Yeah. <laughs> so it's two, the two forms. Do I really want him to do some sort of scarf? In a black, in a black unitar. Yeah, <laughs> with like the ribbons. Now, now all I can think of is uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine with Captain Holt starting a dance off of that street dance. <laughs> yeah, yes. This is the fuel for fan art. This is what yeah. we're yeah. Nothing else. Oh. Oh, it, it, would be like, it would be like when Joey dances with the janitor. Torrin and... Yeah, it won't oh. be a dance off. Oh. They will be... Oh, right, we're doing a heist Hi. now. Look, <laughs> 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 Oh, so look, and I'm playing uh, Arian, so the elf, revenant, sorcerer, nail with working legs. 
Um, and <laughs> the fact for Arian is, uh, oh, so we've got 682 runes across his body, 18 of which are on his tongue. Oh, yeah, nice and simple. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Nice. There we that go. Fact. That could be on a, on a penguin wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. One day it will be. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Why would it be? be? <laughs> when they, when they so release, roll the damn dice penguin. Yeah. yeah. I think there's never a time when this podcast <laughs> will be appropriate to be put on chocolate biscuits. That's just oh, yeah. my view. Oh, I can imagine penguin no. versions of all of them. That's Morn's, but Morn's, ch- Morn's penguin chocolate biscuit. Oh, oh I ice, uh, ice pink fingers. Ice pink fingers, yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> get to see me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen, and I'm playing Prince Janaeus, um, the Hexadin, Warlock, the Paladin, uh, Sorcerer, Oath of Glory something. He's not a sorcerer, I was just having a glitch. Um, and his fact is, he has mousy brown hair that he has to dye. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, I was going to go with the dance thing. I was going to so say, really? so but like, no, it's fine. It just, like, just goes to show we practice nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> practice nothing. But I was thinking more classical, like obviously being part of the royal family and stuff. So like whatever underwater ballet looks oh, like. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Did he have a little hat as well? <laughs> <laughs> and a nose plug. And a really yeah, unnecessary nose plug. Yeah. Like. <laughs> his hair looks amazing in the water. Why would you have a hat? Um, so I'll throw something else out there as well. Um, <coughs> Janaeus has never shared a kiss in that sense. Ooh. And I'm keeping it PG. Like, kiss. Do you like that? Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I, so really in, I feel like I'm missing the in that sense. Yeah. So I, 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 have, you seen sure. the film, have you seen the film Never Being Kissed? <laughs> What film are you watching? <laughs> anyway, yes, more. Yes, more. Um, I forgot to say that Lily's a gnome and a druid. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's important for me. The most words yet said nothing. <laughs> and also does an incredible American smooth. <laughs> <laughs> and now, What's dancing the cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, last week was so good, and we've just descended into chaos. If so Lily and Torin dance together, it'd be like a child <laughs> dancing oh, 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 on his little feet. As oh. if she would even meet his arms, even stood on his feet. Let's <laughs> 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 get a shelf on his midriff or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> should we? <laughs> do you want to do this or not? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. We're yeah. really excited. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to Can play we... some music. Well, for that. Oh yeah. Some people might not have been here last week. So, which is sacrilege. And and if they're still with us and they didn't listen to <laughs> us. <laughs> <week. laughs> so, could everyone bar Tony, because I'm not that mean, uh, roll me a d20 please. Or, ooh. Uh, do we not say it for this? Okay. Roll the damn dice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not going to. <laughs> Boom! Nat one! <laughs> Oh my. So, <laughs> in your faces. <laughs> the, reason, the reason Paul's so happy is the person who gets the highest, highest role, gets the honor, nay, the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> the responsibility. Yeah. The, yeah. And with great power comes uh, good dice rolls. So, they're going to be doing the recap. Uh, I've got a 16. Um, I, got, I got a three, and it's on your dice that you gave me again. Oh, again. <laughs> this, if I ever want to roll badly, I know what my dice, dice are using. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. <laughs> now one. Boom, boom, boom. A safe six for me. And eleven. <gasps> oh, oh, hello, Joy. I mean, you get the first recap of the whole season. Oh, I feel so special. Oh, thanks, um, no way. You'll notice the thing about, about my recaps is that I take really extensive notes in the first half of the session, and then in the second half, when it suddenly occurs to me that I might have to write a bloody madrigal, um, I stop paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was only in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, before I start that recap, uh, I just want to say, if you're watching, why not give us a follow if you're on Twitch? And if you subscribe, that means you get access to our Discord channel, which is there to chat all things uh, from the Ashes and Just Us League. So don't forget about them. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, a subscribe and a like would be amazing because it helps push the content out. Um, and a cheeky or- comment. Cheeky comments. Cheeky comments. Only, 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 only cheeky comments. Only cheeky comments. <laughs> only cheeky comments. Tell us which form of dancing you're best at. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, if you can click on the link tree. Lin- lin- tree? Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> on the link 
the doctor. I'm so glad we're doing an audio based no. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> to engage with us on any of the socials, um, or maybe, you know, if you're feeling a little flush, you could use a Kofi. Um, you know, if you really like us, bung us a couple of coins and we can learn how to not faff about quite yeah. so much. <laughs> <laughs> we refuse to learn that. If you find this too long, tip us. We will cut it short. Yeah, we will, we will. Joey, we turned into a shoe shine. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, your cheeky comment can, can be... Can, 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 can be. Get the fuck on with it. Get the fuck on with it. We will pay you. And the fuck on, Bridget. Oh. Uh, so, recap. Yes. Okay, we started in blackout. Ooh, dramatic. Uh, they woke up in what we thought was a library, but actually turned out to be Arian's crib. Um, and uh, Frayne is missing her left arm from just below the shoulder. Uh, Torin is asleep. Arian can't move his legs. Nearly wakes up. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they find a key. I was there uh, too. Yeah, Gine- <laughs> Gineas was there. Save so all uh, questions and comments for the end of the recap, please. <laughs> <laughs> they find the key to get into Arian's like proper, I'm going to call it a lair, I think it's a lair, uh, which is uh, hella gorgeous. Uh, Frayne licks her loot to cast fly on Arian so that he can, because his legs aren't working, so he can fly through the air like a broken Maybe your sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Janaeus carries Torrin in a very heroic, uh, what, officer in a gentleman kind of way. Um, Over one shoulder. Over one shoulder, yeah. Frayne and Lily pray to Bahamut uh, for the return of Torin, um, but as it turns out, it's not Bahamut that's uh, got Torin. Uh, Frayne gets a lot of booze. Uh, Arian is visited by a tiny little man. Arian goes off on his own into a, into a quiet room, and this tiny little man appears to him and makes Arian super chilled and makes his leg work, legs work again. Um, we're all given a rune on the finger to get out of the office. Um, if you're on the podcast, we're doing the worm. We're all wiggling and we're all wearing our fingers. ET vibes. Janaeus, Arian, and Lily go off into the town for some reason. Where did they go into the town? Wet water. Wet water, mm. yes, Janaeus needs wet water. Um, <laughs> story, story, story moving on purposes. <laughs> yeah. Story moving on purposes. Uh, Frame says with Torin, and inside Torin's head, he meets with this enormous dragon um, who berates him for not being good enough. What a dick. What a dick. What a dick. Um, he calls Janaeus a fish. I don't know how he gets oh. that. <laughs> Mm, salty. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a salty oh, fish. Uh, thanks, thanks. Uh, Torin has a go at the dragon. The dragon's like, yes, that's what I need. Uh, so Torin wakes up. Um, Torin freaks out a bit. The frame doesn't have an arm. So they go off into the town. Um, and they find uh, this tent with what appears to be Grongle's mum uh, <laughs> inside it. And she tells a lovely story. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know that anybody died? No. Does no. anyone die? Nobody knows about it. The thing it. is, in the, there's does no it? phones or anything. There's no. There's not. You can't just do a Facebook update. Yeah. But it's like, it's like, does a tree fall in the woods if no one's there to see it or hear it? Where the saying goes. So like, is anyone actually dead? I think timeline-wise, he's still alive at this point. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The timeline. Oh, the yeah, time he is. Is. The timeline. <laughs> Hang on, so can, can that? Stop doing can that. You s- I'm sure that's in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's just decided. Paul keeps <laughs> leaning in front of Jeremy's so, camera. Can <laughs> they? Can these guys Time-based. affect what happens? What's already in happened in we'll out, all that in um, after Jamie's done her recap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping next episode's recap will be well. We introduced ourselves, we did a recap, and we finished. <laughs> Thank you, middle-aged white man. <laughs> hey, hey, middle-aged white man, aren't you sick of people throwing that? <laughs> I agree, years of oppression were terrible, but it wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, for anyone who's never listened to this, Paul is actually joking. <laughs> I, I wouldn't marry anyone who wasn't... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm so real awake, gang. You've, you've thrown me completely off now. <laughs> Be quiet! By Gongle's mum. Grongle's mum. Yeah. So Grongle's mum tells a story um, about uh, death and his two daughters. Uh, oh, he, gives, he gives one of them the light from his eyes, good. the other from the warmth from his heart. Um, and she gives, well, she sells Frayne and Torin uh, this magical piece of wood and says, if I take it to a druid, I could get magical arm. 
Magical love. So we're off to find a druid. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. wonderful druid of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so in the meantime, uh, Arian got chatted up by a sailor. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Lily went and uh, ate some vegetables, mm. and now they are in an alleyway where things have been pushed off of a roof to trap them in the alleyway. Oh. Um, and that's where we left off, I think. I kind of picked a really bad time to do a cough suite. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. good, good. <laughs> Keep pumping, okay. I'm nearly done. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you good? <laughs> that was a really bad uh, recap, by the way. No, no that was great. No, it was a really well good recap. We just kept interrupting you. I th- the thing is, the things that I write down are things that might rhyme well with other things. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and things that might be funny to put in the <laughs> in the madrigal. So that's what we care about. So, yeah. Yeah. You could have just sung the madrigal, of course. This stuff to go in the madrigal. <laughs> oh, oh, no, The mouse! The mouse! The litigious mouse! The litigious mouse! And I've still not seen it, so shush. Uh, that really is on you. I know. Yeah. Right. Should like, we play some tea? 27 tea? minutes in. <laughs> 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 Should we play some tea? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not here next week, don't worry about it. <laughs> but not as dry Amy, the balance is completely out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as dry Amy wonders. Wondrously, wonderfully recapped. Um, the Jess, Arian, and Lily part of the party um, were making thunderous noises in the background. <laughs> Sorry. Um, had wandered into an alleyway and had um, two carts pushed off either side of the alleyway, trapping them in as a series of hooded figures um, lined the rooftops above them. Um, and that is where we're going to start back up. Okay. <laughs> um, hi there. Um, can we help? Yeah. Where? Give us your loot. Oh, yeah. I guess we can help then. Um, I don't have a loot. Yeah, no, we don't have Our any money. Our friend has so... a loot, but she doesn't have it with her at the moment. She's not here. Boss, you said we was hunting fish. There's only one fish, and there's two other people with them. Yeah, I know, but. We need to get them anyway, don't we? He's not going to be happy if we don't take him back. Take who back? I always ask him questions, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> who is your who? Who's your boss? So uh, one of them jumps down from the rooftops and just lands in front of you. He's, he's not much taller than uh, than Arian, actually. He's, he's okay. Uh, sort of elven sheen build, um, but yeah, again has his hat up. Um, the others lined up there. They have crossbows trained on you, pretty much. On me. Oh, the lot Cool. Oh, good. Yeah. You're not special, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, we don't actually have any money, um, so um, we can just be moving on, if you like. Um, feels like that would be the best way to put an end to this. As he um, pulls his rope back, you see the glint of a little dagger on his leg. Oh, moving on, are we? Don't think so, mate. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to make this really, really clear. If it happens that the tides have aligned and um, you're on your very best day and I'm on my very worst, I will still take half of you down before I go. So clear out the way and let us pass. Interesting. You might be able to, but what about these two? Think they can uh, survive this little... Yeah, they'll, they'll, finish you, they'll, they'll finish you off after you've taken me down. Yeah, we'll I'm having fine. quite a good day, actually. I've just eaten some really nice vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Which means that the bludgeoning damage coming your way will be significant. Yeah, and Arian will cast... Try <laughs> <laughs> to, because his magic's a bit... So we're going to go for a cantrip, um, and he's going to cast Minor Illusion. Okay. To just sort of clip both of his fingers and just make the illusion of two fireballs sort of roar into life in his hands. And, He'll just sort of <coughs> prep them as though he's actually casting the spell. Give oh, me a performance check, someone. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> performance. Okay, here we go, here we go. 19. Hey. Really? Okay. Nice so, one. Yeah. Yeah, you, um, you ignite your hands. No sound, no light, but two fireballs set on either side. Yeah. Put your hands. Oh, well, that's a bit impressive, isn't it? I mean, it might do a little bit of damage, but as you said, like, we have no loot. There's no point you risking your lives for this. You see, that's where you're wrong. Might be worth risking all of our lives for this. Um, and the guy in the hood leans into Janaeus. He goes, 
to speak with you. You come with us willingly. These two don't get hurt, and we all have ourselves a pleasant day. Don't we? Who wants to speak to me? Why don't you come along and we'll find out together? That's incredibly unlikely. Huh. Well, looks like it's the hard way then, doesn't it? Sorry, but you speak up! Oh, my God! Oh, we're about to throw down. I think there's going to be courage. Oh, of course, I've got a map! Battle map! Oh, oh, battle map! First battle map of the season! So, I'm I'm so I'm to move myself! Oh, God, I hope Ooh. I don't knock it over! I just, like, very aware now that there's a camera and, like... We're going to be, like, stood up moving these things, so we're going to have to be, like, squatted. Which just <laughs> well, no, they might go to the open the top. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We've got yeah. our camera guys. Yeah. All, all of the camera, there's a camera behind you. Yeah, we forgot oh, yeah, that. Hey, camera behind. This is first good. I mean, if you want to sort of, um, you know, a bit of a co do. donation, <laughs> anything like that to help us get other minis than these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we well, well, currently. That's plenty. Is it? Yeah, that's plenty. Well, send us your own minis and then we'll shout you out and oh, um, yeah. feature yeah. Uh, yeah. your yeah. artwork that you've done. Lily is yet to be painted and ah. looks like some sort of oh. wizard ah. witch. Oh. Oh. So, yeah, these, um, so just for layout of everyone, yeah. uh, these are on a building sort of about three stories up above you. Um, okay. You're in an alleyway below. For listeners, yes. What does that mean? That means there are eight. House. So you are in an alleyway, <laughs> uh, and there are eight enemies. One of them is on the floor near you, and is the one that whispered to Snares and lent in. Why is he? Yeah. What? 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 As far as we can tell, it's elvish, elvish and hooded. Elvish and hooded. Mm. Elvish and hooded. Yeah. Hooded. The rest you can't really make out. They are hooded as well and have crossbows trained on you. Okay. Um, okay. kind of just leans back and sort of says, "If you guys can attempt some kind of crowd control up there, and um." <clears throat> I'll keep this guy busy. Roll a damn dice. Hey! <laughs> Here we go. Hey, I was attending tactics. Yeah, I know you were. Sneaky. <laughs> Our friend and Tori okay. somehow near enough to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone wants to roll dice. <laughs> I want to do some hitting stuff. You don't get to. I'm going to go back to my office in about 24 hours with a new body. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, what do my spells do? Well, I've got a, <laughs> it's been so long! <laughs> a 16 for Arian. One second, I'll. Oh, you're doing drop this? Yeah. Oh, 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 the music is intensified. Oh, I don't like this. <gasps> <laughs> Matt! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, I literally, I forgot what all of my spells do. Um, I just had a, like, you know when you just, when someone says like, give me a fun fact about yourself and you forget everything about yourself. Yeah. That's right, I'm, I'm limited yes. to a very small spell this all of a sudden. Yeah, <laughs> scary, innit? Uh, yeah, so, it's quite. Uh, 25 to 20, anyone up there? 20. 20. Dirty. Wow, good. Oh, dirty. Good, good, good. Not the top of the round, though. Oh, oh no. not good. Oh, not good. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Um, that's, that's Twenty to fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen for Lily. Okay. What uh, dexes? Two. She is not dexy. Oh, zero. Okay. Uh, so Arian. That's the best combat this season. I'm sure someone's already said oh, that, but I just realised. That's exciting. <laughs> so. Are we all ready to... Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. So, right. So first up are the rooftop boys, as they're lovingly known in the flag hole. They're rooftop a, boys? Yeah, they're a, the, the, you know, the barbershop quintet. Would you like my pushy stick? Oh, I'd love your pushy stick. Tattle. <laughs> Battle tactics. <laughs> so, they're rooftop boys. Yeah, they're rooftop boys. Um, the, uh, the two in the uh, rooftop closest to you um, pull something out of their pockets and just throw down uh, like a little bomb, um, and so from it, just this smoke dust starts dispersing in the alleyway. Okay. Ow. Um, and <clears throat> for the purposes of about half the alleyway is now filled with smoke. Okay. Ah. Okay. What does that do for <clears throat> for us? Well, you can't really see in smoke, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing normal smoke does, really. So our vision is impaired? Yes. Um, 
Great. You have disadvantage on attack rolls on them because you can't see. And you can't see them, so. Great! Uh, and the other. Was that Lily or Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Both! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they're one and the same. Fair enough. Uh, so. Good shot. So, uh, you've, from the smoke, you, you, you hear the sounds of crossbows. You go. Uh, and Ari, you take a crossbow bolt <gasps> to the chest. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> which is. Rude. Which is rude. Yeah, it is very rude. I, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's seven points of damage. Good. Okay. Um, the second one just whistles by you. Here goes <laughs> into the wall behind you. Um, Janaeus, you. What was your AC? Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, so the first one is dead on target. It's a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, you. Unless you do anything more, you take five points of damage. Five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cool. this one just hits you right above the kneecap, and you crossbow bolt lands in it. Oof. Oh. Oh. Um, I hear it. Yep. And I feel it coming, and I pull my shield. And even though it's going to go for me, the shield projects out a bigger, magical, radiant version of said shield. So it's like a ten-foot tall version of my shield. that's all glimmery and divine in front of me. As I cash. Thank you. Ah. Um, as I cast shield on myself, and my AC is now 24 until my next, next turn. turn. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Thank you. Like I wanted that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I remember it, but you just didn't pop me there. Thank you. That's good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and Lily, what's your AC? Uh, 12. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, goosh, goosh, goosh. She is holding vegetables in front of her. I literally all I have is vegetables! Um, so as you say that into the alleyway, um, you just feel a, a bolt graze you for eight points of damage. Oh, oh as, as, as a reaction, um, little bits of, like, she'll just kind of almost just poof as I've described it. It's the it's um, the the squid in Finding Nemo. She's just gonna <laughs> like ink. she inks and um and uh, green kind of spores are just gonna kind of cover her uh, as her halo of spores kind of comes into action. It doesn't um uh, doesn't do anything about the the damage, but yeah, that's just happened. Okie dokie. That's a crit. Two. What are you doing, sorry? So the other uh, crossbow <laughs> bolt would have been a crit if it went to disadvantage, so... Good! <laughs> <laughs> so it was going to be aimed at Arian and you could like a... Uh, Good. Whistling past you. Because the rest of you stood next to a potential bomb if I hit zero <laughs> points at this stage. Oh, okay. lovely. So, next up is Janice. Hi there, right. Um, well, this Step is... away this, from this the bomb. This is yeah. nothing like I wanted it to go. Um, however... I will say to my party, sort of lean back and go, guys, get in behind me as best you can. Um, first thing I'm going to do is cast Compel Jewel on this dude Ooh, here. Okay. So can I get a wisdom saving focus? Yes, you can. Uh, that dude is the main hooded figure. The main hooded <laughs> figure who sassed me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sass me. Don't sass me. I'll use my nice check. whispered really sort of like intimidatingly, but also seductive. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, oh, I was saying this, it. Yeah. Maybe this is the first kiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to say who wanted to speak to you, so he's embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> and now you've made him fight. Uh, so it's that kill is a 14. World. You failed. Ooh. So you are under compelled duel. I think basically, um, if you attempt to hit anybody else other than me, you're at disadvantage. Um, and you can't get away from me. Uh, wisdom saving throw. You attempt to compare, um, compare the creature into a jewel. Um, one creature that you can see within range. Um, oh. Uh, oh. That you can see. <laughs> he, is, okay. he is stood directly in yeah. front of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thanks, Paul. Good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's not involved in the combat. And it's going uh, to strike so up at some point. So it has disadvantage to attack on attack rolls. Attack rolls against creatures other than me. So if you go for Lily, or if you go for Lily or Arian, it should be a disadvantage. Um, you must take the wisdom saving throw each time you attempt to move in a space that's more than 30 foot away from me. Cool. So if you try to get away from me, you can then take it again. Um, and obviously when I succeed, nothing happens. Cool. Nice. Um, Anything else? 
That is that. But what I am going to do, that's a bonus action. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to use my racial ability to gust of wind around the area that me, Janaeus, and Lily, me, Janaeus, uh, me, I mean, Lily, Lily. stood in, stood in. Actually, I'm going to aim it at this dude, and hopefully just because it, um, gust of wind will clear. Um, smoke. Yeah, cool. So, so, so I'm going to aim it at the dude, might as well knock him back a bit as well. Um, that's the one spell. I was like, 46 <laughs> damage? That's not right. No. <laughs> um, no, thank you. So yeah, a line of strong wind, um, 60 foot long, 10 foot wide blast in a direction of your choice. Each creature starting, the turn, t starting a turn in that line must make a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 foot away. So that's the next guy's turn. Um, the gust of wind um, disperses gas, vapors, extinguishes candles, torches, similar unprotected flames in the area. So, blow cool. smoke out, and then what is, is that the end of your turn? That will be my turn now. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's worked automatically, so that's turn now. So, mm. yeah. So, as the gust of wind happens, the smoke pushes back, and then their feet are just dragging on the floor as they get pushed back 15 feet. Yes. Oh, okay. good. Well done. Nice. Right. Are we still in the smoke? Was that for um, you? So, no, it's just a clear. Me and Lily are now. No, yeah, the disperses. Yeah. Okay. So we can see what's going on. Okay. I know I'm feeling like a good paladin. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling nervous that the crossbow can see me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Has this helped or hindered? Yeah. Let's find out. <laughs> Could we have, like, just blown it up slightly so there's just, like, a fire? Oh my up. god! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you try what to do you want me? <laughs> We're not grateful. <laughs> Could you form it into a small boat? Janaeus <laughs> uh, attacks Lily and Arian for <laughs> their sassiness. Lily and Arian aren't saying anything. It's, it's, it's yeah. the people that are driving them. Janaeus attacks Lily and <laughs> no, no, uh, Laura and Luke. Right, so yeah, you uh, you see this hooded figure, the uh, hood has come back, and this, there are like, you thought it was almost elven in the future, but the it's almost like rodent in feature. Whoa. Uh, it's like a sort of humanoid rodent hybrid. Um, like its face is long and um, like jowly, uh, with almost like whiskers coming off. They, they just look like a half rat. Uh, and this is do I have a rat bowl. And this thing like starts running towards you, like steps off the wall and comes in with a dagger strike. Okay. For a twenty-three to hit. No. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> 23 doesn't hit. No, because I've got shield up. Yeah, but your turn's happened. Oh, he's got his magic shield uh, up. Your turn's happened. Until the end of my next turn. Yeah. Until Which the is end. then. Which is just then. <laughs> it's just a reaction. Yeah, isn't it? it so happens it. between turns. You can do it again as a reaction. Da, 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 da. Until the start of your next turn. Yeah, but you haven't had a turn at that point. I had a. You did shield reaction. before that. And but then... it's still, still around, because we're still in the same round, aren't we? It's not how it works. What? I'm I see. so confused. I see. He attacked. Yeah. No, they attacked. Yeah, they attacked. Janaeus shielded. Shielded. Yeah. Then Janaeus's turn. Yeah. You end oh. your turn. Shield drop. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's how shield works. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you can, can do, you do it again. Yeah. 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 Uh, I've used my reaction. reaction. I've used my reaction for this turn. No, you haven't oh. used your reaction for this turn. Yeah, I have because it's still yeah, the same. Reactions round. are within same rounds, round. not per yeah. turn. Yeah. Hang on, so, so until it's the top of the round, then you can use sphere. Yeah, sure. yeah. Okay, so yeah, hit 23 does hit. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rather than spending a whole... We could spend quite a long time debating whether that is... Yeah. But it's kind of the DM, so... DM, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. I mean, put in the comments below if I've got it completely wrong, but Janaeus might be dead, so... <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so that's 13 points of damage. Spicy. Yeah, oh, and can you make a con save, please? Oh, no. Um, 13 damage. This would be a brutal way for Connor to start DMing. Right. <laughs> uh, 15. 15. Isn't right. it really upsetting when you're not in a battle, but there are things you could do to help? Yeah. yeah. Like every, everything that happens, I'm like, but I could, no, I can't. <laughs> Torin's really listening hard. So as um, <laughs> so as this dagger hits you, uh, you feel uh, things start spreading through your body, and you start localizing it and just trying to stop it. But you you do take some damage. Is it poison? Yes. You were right then, didn't you? No, it's not. No, it's immune to disease. Immune to disease, not poison. Ah. Lovely. You know your stuff. I do know my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Should I get this combat over? <laughs> we can start I'm checking me. Bye, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's poison. So I am poisoned. Yeah. One sec. It's a damage, not a condition. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Me so that is 14 points of poison damage. Jesus! Yeah. That was a turn? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, and just like goes, offer still stands. I will backhand you when I can. <laughs> 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 he doesn't know how, right. how bad ass Lily is. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> knows. Speaking <laughs> of, it's Harry's go. Okay, how high the ones that's up on the edges, how high up are they? Three stories, so about 15 feet. Lovely. Yep. Okay. So Arian will skirt over towards the. Uh, yeah. Twenty feet. Right. Twenty feet. That's yeah. okay. That's all right. Okay. That's fine. It makes it more theatrical. Yeah. Uh, he'll run over to the wall below the two crossbowmen, mm-hmm. and then he'll sort of almost jump at the wall and then kick backwards off it just to give himself a few foot extra. Nice. Parkour! Yeah, parkour! And we're going to <laughs> twin spell lightning lure at the two of them to pull them down off the walls. Yes. Excellent! Okay, so we strength. have a strength Eight. saving throw for the two of those, yeah. DC 15. I wish I could have more than one creature open on my phone, that'd be very helpful. <laughs> Uh, so one succeeds and one fails drastically. Okay, so nothing to the success. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other one has got 2d8 of lightning damage, so six points of lightning damage. Yep. And he's pulled ten foot, so he's pulled down off the wall towards us. Uh, so which one was it? The, the, the um, so these two, are the yep. two this, uh, on our right. So this, one su- this one succeeded. Yep. And this one failed. Okay, yeah, so they're pulled down off towards him. Uh, so, yeah, he's just going to fall down off the wall and crash. Uh, and you just hear a Wilhelm scream. Oh! No! Same effects, down! Oh, shit! Ah! I have so much power in my hand! Uh, uh, Connor hit the table and uh, he's 15, the mini oh, no, he 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 uh, But now this guy's down. Gone, gone. Oh, nice! Oh, nice. Oh, okay. 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 Falling damage is no joke, guys. No, beautiful <laughs> stuff. Um, and with that, uh, I use he'll use the rest of his movement to run around behind the uh, the guy that Janaeus is facing off against. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Lily, you're up. Um, she. Oh no, bugger, Arian, you're in the way now. Um, <laughs> Do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he wasn't god. He was fireball you for days. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Sorry. Lily is going to turn up at, um, at these crossbow boys um, on the wall, um, having been struck, and she's just going to look up at them and sort of stamp her foot and strike her um, staff, staff <laughs> down and yell up and go, Oi! And um, with that, she's going to cast Erupting Earth oh, and huge. a 20-foot cube... Um, on this wall. On the guys on the left. Kind of, the guys on the left hand side of the wall um, have to roll a dexterity saving throw, please. That's not good. What's the DC? 15. Mm, and none of them succeeded. Okay, we're going to get. So the ground above them churns up. A fountain of earth and stone is just churning up, and they shall plummet from their wall! <laughs> 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 And a two and a three. So, 17. 17. <laughs> damage. Bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's really spicy. Well, wait a second. Yeah, there's uh, falling damage in that as well. And then the falling damage yeah. as well. Thank you very much. Uh, and again, did you just hear it. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, nice. And splatter. They're not healthy, guys. You <laughs> have our murder mission back. <laughs> She's back. Yay, our tiny little and murder machine. And also, the 20 foot cube is now difficult terrain. Um, until cleared. Uh, so you, you we're going to some houses. houses. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I'm not going to This is abandoned. It's abandoned. It's abandoned. It's abandoned. It's abandoned. It's abandoned. No. There's, there's not a lovely family in there. Uh, no. A small <laughs> child in <laughs> <of> bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 No.
genuinely thought it was just a very high wall. You just, you just like abandoned. You just hear from inside, like, I can't. Honey, we finally paid the mortgage off on that house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. you. You never have to go back to work again. That horrible, horrible place. Why do you two keep doing this to her? The father of all Susan! Where was little Davey? Ignore them! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Can't kill you in the game, but we can kill you a bit. <laughs> Get the emotional damage we can play now, Matt. Yeah. Can you do that? Emotional damage, please. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, back to the top of the round, uh, we've got the spy boys. Was that the end of your go? Um, yeah, because she, she can normally do loads, can't yeah, she? Yeah, I know. I was thought I'd just check. I didn't yeah. ask. Um, no, 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 you didn't. To. You just told me that I, I destroyed <laughs> many people's <laughs> homes, um, and then I, 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 I got sad. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think to be honest, after that, upon hearing that this is now like habitable places, <laughs> um, she's gonna do that and then just kind of, oh no. Make <laughs> sure feel better. It's the poorer part of town. <laughs> Why would that make me feel better? <laughs> Surely that makes me <laughs> feel worse. Just so you juggle with your own morality while you're moving the around. They'll be relocated to nice, nice places, yeah. and the landlords will suffer. Exactly. Mm. That We're makes me feel better. This area. Yeah. 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 Oh wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so top of the round. Um, it's gonna be an existential crisis <laughs> while Sarah reigns around me. Right, spicy boys. Okay. Um, so. Uh, the furthest from you at the top of the alley uh, sees this and is like, you know what, I'm out it's like this. Good. Uh, and starts yes. hopping along the, the rooftops. Oh, hopping? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's interesting. It's just an interesting. Like between rooftops. Oh, I thought you meant like actually hopping. Like a little bird. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like a massive frog. Yeah, I think frog. It would be interesting. One spicy boy hop. Yeah, yeah cool. Everyone know it. <laughs> Get it down. Right. Um, so, yeah, uh, the other one's going to. Uh, and chuck a smoke bomb again and start filling the alley with. Good. Um, and then, no one left. So disadvantage. Uh, sorry, Aaron, that's gonna miss. Good. That's yeah, right. I'm okay. With that. Why, <laughs> I was like, why are you apologizing? Okay? Yeah. Six doesn't hit, right? No, I'm okay oh, for that. Okay, we're just, yeah, we're good. We're good. Genuine. Oh, so can we uh, go again? Are we blinded? You are back in the smoke. <sighs> you don't get a permanent fix to a solution. Kill that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it! He's directly in front of you, you can't... Uh, yeah, still, it's disadvantage. Um, but I think... We're gonna be... <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. You're going to learn a step in a minute. Okay. <laughs> so I really, I started the whole thing really overexcited. I'm really sorry. I've noticed. <laughs> uh, he will get hex based cursed anyway. Um, I'm hoping, even though blinded, Arian there is enough to say that he can be flanked. Because mm. we are... Do you know what, sure. Okay. Yeah, because it's more that he's aware of two creatures than necessarily a certain thing. Um, a flat roll. I'll leave a flat roll on that. So, I'll just go for two aqua blasts, because um, I don't think I can. Yeah. <laughs> aqua blast, new drink. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the podcast. So I thought. Is that Elon it's... Musk's new thing? Uh, so, that is a 15. Uh, it doesn't I hit. tried it in one at once. Oh, I don't regret that. It doesn't hit either. Oh, Aqua Plus is a nice new spell, Steven. It is, yeah. and um, oh. it sucks. Um, <laughs> Yeah, cool, that ends my turn. Yeah, cool, sweet. Uh, is it one of those spells where it's like succeed, succeed or fail? No, it's Eldritch Blast with a new oh. name. <laughs> we we, 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 we regret Eldritch Blast, so it'd be in keeping. He wanted some wet Good. water. Yeah, he wants some water wet damage. Oh. But I can't <laughs> do any water wet damage. <laughs> so Aqua Blast is definitely the new sports drink we are bringing out. It is, it is. <laughs> so again, from the... Um, <clears throat> I was going to say from the ashes then, but that's the name of the show. Uh, yeah, from the fog you hear it. Uh, oh. Uh, so that's a 20 to hit. Um, I cast shield. <laughs> Good. <you> do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, he's not hitting me again. Uh, yeah, and the second one is just going to go wide. So uh, yeah, it brings the first one. Boom, and then brings in a tiny little dagger from underneath and just that magical radiant energy blocks the uh, dagger. Yes. Um, 
Yeah. Cool. Next up, we have Arian. Okay. <clears throat> um, he has no idea how much the smoke's surrounding him, so he's going to, knowing the guys in front of him, he's going to channel a mind sliver uh, to the one between him and Jenea. So he's got a intelligence save. Um, and we said we couldn't see him. Do you know? Yeah. What? Could I uh, like literally? He'll just move uh, to, to grab the guy and pull him like his head to the back of the guy's head, and so he's like right up against it. Yeah, go on then. Why not? Yeah. Why okay. Not? Uh, I've left you enough. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So intelligence save DC fifteen uh, for two D six psychic. And I'm minus one D four. Failed. Absolute fail. Well, my stuff. Uh, so only three points of psychic damage, but he has oh what, a three, a minus three off his next saving throw. Just saving throw, not attacks. Yeah, just cool. saving throw. Do we get to hear his disturbing, disturbed memories? <clears throat> it's not what my slither is, is it? No, my slither is just uh, so he just gets. It's almost like a sudden intense headache as this just shard of pain special. bolts through his head. Yeah. Um, so just. For the inside of the head, uh, it, his thoughts just become fire, and he just sees like a massive ball of fire and these two wings unfurling in front of him. And he's like, Ugh. "Yeah, really? Yeah." Um, so can she see um, the 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 bad boy? No. Damn it! I don't like it when the spell specifies within the, that you can <laughs> see. Um. Move. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of tactical thinking a frame would be. In this <laughs> oh yeah, um, movement. Uh, <laughs> but think more. What would Lily do? <laughs> Don't listen to the voice no, in your head. I, Lily would do. Um, more wouldn't think of it, but Lily would. Lily, okay. would, <laughs> Lily would think of, of getting closer. Um, Lily is going. Oh God. <laughs> The, yeah, the can hand. someone just move there Lily nearer? There, there we go. Um, if I move right up close to him, please and thank you. Yes. Um, and uh, he's going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Cool, I guess what? Uh, 15. Uh, so that is a fail. Okay, mm -hmm. so he is going to take Four necrotic damage, please. No, yes, four necrotic damage, please. Um, and also, she's going to look up at him and say, I don't like doing this. <laughs> and um, she's going to push her hands out towards him. And with that is casting Blight. Ooh. Oh. And I would like nasty. you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, I've just failed one. I can't possibly fail another one in one <laughs> turn. That would be ridiculous, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, 18 plus... Have we got to minus something off their saving throw? That would be off his first oh, one that it. failed. Uh, s yeah? Yeah, because he did his That's first fine. one that failed anyway. Failed anyway, oh, the so, next so it doesn't have to... Cool. Okay, fine. So, yeah, unfortunately not. Arian it's my next sliver. success. Why am I not there? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's okay, because you still take half damage, um, and it's 8d8. <laughs> um, I got to remember, like some? I might need some more. You can just roll more, you can roll four. I've got two here. Four, five, I'll, I'll, I'll cough the ones from my own demise, shall I? Eight, there we go. Mine's the blue ones. <laughs> okay, so, so, one. um, so that is eight plus, okay, 14. 24, uh, 28, 20, the... Can we have some hold music? Okay, okay. Hang on, here we go. Fee, uh, can you help me? That is 15. 15. Okay, Plus. so that's 20. Okay. Which means that is 28. 28. Okay. That's 32. 32. That's 39. You traitorous little bastard. My dice rolled back. Second highest. 44. 44. Plus one. 45. <laughs> <laughs> 45 necrotic damage halved, please. Okay. Uh, 22. 20. 22. So I like that my D8 did the most damage. Yeah, yeah and mine. Nice. <laughs> came right back to bite me on the ass, didn't it? <laughs> 
You're yeah. not a you're not a magical plant, are you? <laughs> <laughs> not a magical what? Well, plant. I mean, after that, it can be a few other things. And is that the end of you, girl? Uh, yes. So, but uh, but in casting that, it's sort of like a a green sort of glittery hue emerges from her hands and what it does is it just drains all moisture and vitality from them and they sort of just their skin kind of sallow like gets yeah. really sallow and because they succeeded it's like they it sucks it out and then just kind of gasps back a little bit and he Oh, yeah. nasty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if he didn't look gross before, there was a very brief period where he looked gross. There's Real some nice gross. little blight. Oh, I'm getting really like the menthol vibes. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, top of the round. Uh, but she doesn't like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's appropriate. Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. He's been a very naughty very boy. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> He's been a bad boy, sir. Uh, so, the boys at the top. I need like a little peek screen for this. <laughs> How many have you got there? Two. I've got two three. guys. This guy's fled the field. He's gone. Yeah. Coward. So two guys on the roof, one still in the alley. Mm-hmm. Uh, so one goes. So the one here goes to fire their crossbow, the one closest to the party, uh, and it jams, uh, and the, the crossbow falls from their hand onto the um, street floor, uh, below, just shattering. Uh, that one was a really bad time. <laughs> uh, and then the second one uh, just aims straight into the mist. You hear it, but it doesn't hit any one of you. It seems to be hurting and hindering both. Okay. Jen, you're right. Cool. So I am going to cast Branding Slight. So I have like divine light magic in my hand which I'm going to throw onto my trident. Mm-hmm. Um, does this light up anything as I'm... So give me a bit more visibility? It, it lights up, but doesn't... It moves the, back. Yeah, no. Okay. We'll try. Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean you've got to give it a go. Um, with the branding smite on the trident, I will aim to stab this fucker. Mm. Run him through. Still just flat roll, yeah. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. 14. Doesn't hurt, I'm afraid. And that's the turn. Oh. You took that plus ten trident away from me. I've <laughs> seen what you've done to me. <laughs> He's he took my gust away. He took my trident away. He's a bad man. He is. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> nice telling me off anyway. Right. Compelled duel, just disadvantage against other enemies. Other not... enemies, yeah. Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey. Uh, right. So um, the head of figure is just going to turn onto Lily and go, now that wasn't very nice, was it? Well, neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> Granted. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the first dagger just comes straight over the top of you. You can't really tell how tall you are. Uh, and if you were Janae's height with the person you've been fighting previously, that would have been a, a hard shot, that would have been a kill shot. But it just goes straight over your head. Uh, Spicy. Yeah. That thought you really helped. And then goes in for the second attack. So that was very nearly a crit. But that can jump. Crit really helped. It's <laughs> a nineteen. So that. Hits. Well, yes, that hits. Okay. No. Glad I got to hit Jamie here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I also realised that with Halo spores, it's when you, when a creature moves within ten feet or starts their turn there. So the damage that you took on my go should have been on this go. That's fine. So, I, I marked off anyway, so. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So, so yeah, um, you feel the dagger plunge into you uh, and oh. you, you take 18 points of damage. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, and can you make a constitution saving throw, please? That is 13. 13. Can I have some d6s, please? Oh no! Sixes. Oh, okay. Sixes. I have two. I'm, I'm going to make you have, take a spotty d6. Oh, thanks, Paul. <laughs> uh, so I need two. Oh, I've got more like, than two more. I, I feel like this is karma for being cocky about my eight d8s. <laughs> <laughs> so it was how much? How much was the piercing? It's eighteen. Eighteen. Bugger. That one's really hard to read. <laughs> 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 uh, and 
that's 25 points of poison damage. Oh dear. <laughs> um, hang on a second. Um, okay, I, hang on, 25 and 20, 50, yeah, 51. I've got, I'm, I'm proper weak. I've got five hit points left, <laughs> buddy boys. <laughs> oh. Hey, friend, it's fine, you're druid, you can do it, right? <laughs> you, can yeah. do it. you can do it, you can do it, Lily will just, like, Way on spot. What kind of damage was that? Like so that the was second one? Poison damage. Okay. How's the guy? Oh, shit. Is he blooded or anything? Uh, he's not yet, no. Ooh. Are you poisoned then? No, it's not the poison effect. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Poisoned. Yeah. Okay. It is really weird. There's oh, two. That's cool. yeah. Arian, you're up. Mm, okay, so he'll um, tap into the, the threat he made towards Lily to sort of hear him again, and then again, just sort of almost go to grab thin air and hope he latches onto this guy and again press his head to the uh, creature, whatever it is, and do another mind sliver. Since I've got not a lot I can do. So again, <laughs> intelligence save um, DC 15. Uh, and everyone can have their dice back now because I don't want to <laughs> fill in my tray. Disseminate as much as you will. No fail. Lovely stuff. Not bright, boy, this one. Good. So we have eight psychic damage and then a three off his next saving throw. So with that, uh, he looks and his stagger sort of like stumbles a little bit to one knee and he pulls himself back up. Uh, and for mechanical purposes, they're now bloodied. Okay, okay. Right, uh, and there's no sign of the smoke thinning at all yet here, so Ariel will stay where he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Gust of Wind was a one-time thing. Yeah. Very long rest. It was very cool. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Just yeah. like, I can't do it again. <laughs> Good. I think it's helping you more than it's hindering you. I think it has. smoke? The smoke, I think I haven't so. hit him since. I think it helped, because <laughs> otherwise <laughs> Lily, me and Lily would have been able to get those lot on the wall without him. Yeah. Lily. So. Um, Lily is going to... Um, Sort of stagger back, um, not enough for it to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. oh, I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> well, like just a little, little, little step back, sort yeah. of swaying, and um, is going to cast Symbiotic Entity, um, which is just the um, spores that had eked out of her are just going to glow um, a bit more. I've got to do some maths because I forgot to add. Uh, what's 28 plus 4 is 32. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, yeah, with that, she's going to gain 32 temporary hit points. Christ. Um, wow. And yeah, um, wow. Symbiotic Entity gain four temporary hit points per level you have. Wow. So, um, yeah. Nice, uh, and, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> and... Um, I feel like I've got, uh, she's got more in her. Thank you. <laughs> so it's similar thing the, like a bonus action? Uh, no, it's it's an action, mm-hmm. but I've got but bonus actions. Bonus action. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm um, so <laughs> My girl. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Um, it's just which one do I do? Uh, maybe I don't. Because <laughs> the bonus, yeah. Mm, uh, mm, um, uh, can't move on. Um, no, that's cool. all she's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're getting used to these characters. Again. Oh <laughs> my god, I have so many spells, you guys. It's real hard. I mean, you've got like a proper book. You should try Wizard at some point. Like, you've got the proper book, spell book in front of you. I made a it. spreadsheet, well it's color coded and everything. <laughs> So, um, the uh, the one that dropped their crossbow is, yes. well, you're going to see, but you'll hear, they land very softly Ooh. on the floor. Okay. Near, well, in the middle. Cool. Um, and seeing that, the one that had their crossbow left pops it and follows them. Okay. Oh, right. Right. Uh, That's when you hear the hooves of heroes. Yeah. <laughs> <cutting Yeah. around>. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are in the city somewhere. <laughs> I feel like you're starting each episode with the first half of Paul not being able to speak <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> I'm not even here next week. Oh. No, me neither. Oh, no. <laughs> but we're the ones that are dying. <laughs> yeah. 
can't kill them off. You need them. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if all of us die, I think we just we go we go to we just, just bring just Panu Kin as DM yeah. on our new yeah. <laughs> our new team. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, the one that dropped down that had their crossbow is going to move in behind Arian. Okay. And again, you hear it. Um, yeah, like um, the the noise that fidget makes when I've been handling rabbits and I come home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you often handling rabbits? Our, my in-laws have rabbits. So that makes that's, sense. That's, yeah. started... Hugging a rabbit today, came yeah. home and the dog was. <laughs> oh. uh, what should I see, Aaron? Thirteen. Thirteen. So yeah, that's a hit, and you feel a dagger uh, hit you in the, the lower part of your spine. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Just Ooh, that is a power yeah. of walking again. I can't lose it. Already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Professor Xavier backstory. Maybe. <laughs> uh, it's not a big one, don't worry. So it's uh, three points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, and can you make a contact, please? Okay. All right, no, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay. It is as bad as I thought. It's a six. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, you take 12 poison damage as you feel it just coursing Ooh. through your veins. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> We've just paid for new character art. Oh. I know, I'm so sorry. Um... <laughs> I'm 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 all right. Like I just come back, hopefully. <coughs> and Janesh, you hear a sniffing next to you, um, and the other one's gonna go for you. Oh, both sevens. Weird. 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 Both fail, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, statistically, oh <laughs> god. <laughs> um, yeah. So you feel this dagger just whip past you, and uh, sort of last moment, your divine sense kicks in, and you just. Nay, nay. Nay, nay. <laughs> It's not the one. Where's the sass today? Come on. Oh, I'm just <laughs> visibly. <laughs> right. We have um, we have blinding smite on the trident. Yep. Uh, missed. So um, there's a purpose to this. So I'm going to go again. Pray to all of the sea gods. Ursula, hear us. Okay, a bit better. So that's 23 to hit. Uh, on which one, sorry? On the right guy. Yeah. yeah. Main guy. Amazing. Amazing. Funny story. They're all right guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the mouthy right guy. <laughs> yes. Hit. So let's deal with the branding smite damage first, um, which is radiant. Uh, yes. Probably. Yes, it is. It's radiant damage, um, and that is seven yep. radiant. Um, you are now in a cloud of. Um, Divine magic, and you can be seen. Um, oh, the target sheds a dim light of five foot radius that um, and cannot be invisible until the spell ends. So we can now see that turd. Um, <laughs> Turns out you can polish a turd. You can yeah. polish a turd. Make it I mean, he wasn't taking a turd, but <laughs> um, <laughs> you caught him. <laughs> now we're going to go for the trident damage, which is. Nine, piercing. Yeah. And whilst we're here, let's divine smite this. Oh, yay! And that is me done. Juice out. <laughs> oh god, no. Um, so that is nine, fourteen, nineteen radiant magic, magnite damage plus hexblade's curse. There's three more damage on top of that. Brilliant. So yeah, you. Uh, from the trident? Just a trident. I mean, it's a proper, like, he, he's really frustrated yeah. that he's been missing, and he knows the second he connects, it's going to be hopefully game over for him. So he just pulls back, takes a moment, breathes, and just thrusts into the cloud again. Obviously, let's imagine we're going to hear the impact. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then as he's there and, like, the radiant magic is lighting him up, he just doubles down, pushes harder, and then channels divine magic through the trident to blast him even more. So as you hit this thing, you feel it, like you take them off their legs, like up into the air, and what was rigid becomes limp, and just the full oh. weight of which oh, falls wow. over your trident uh, as they drop dead. Oh, I kneel for, I kneel for nine Ooh. at that. Oh, good. Yeah. good. Text-based curse is nice. Um, how's the fog doing? Uh, it, still there. Still there. It's a bit okay. thinner. It's sort of filling out more um, of the alleyway, but it's not. So as Janaeus is... When he when it was there, and he obviously like the, the dead guy was just shining. Obviously, his dudes are gonna see that. He's mm -hmm. like, so I'm guessing you two are next, right? And then that ends Janice's turn. 
<laughs> Why? The exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> Got a rat problem, that's a lot. <laughs> um, and as you kill the, um, the main guy, you feel this, um, this heavy force fly past you. Um, Arian, you feel as well as this like huge figure just flies the length of this, uh, and the uh, the smoke behind them disperses, and you see this rat thing just crushed against the cart at the end of the alley. Oh, oh shit! I thought we were done. I mean, it might be on our side. Oh, uh, in our side. <laughs> <laughs> it, if, if, it's on a, if it's on our side, that's great. But it might be on their side, but a really bad aim. I'm and I don't think just, either of those is good. Does anyone want to take a look? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be to the top of the wall. So Wait, did Lily really see it? Uh, no, actually, no. But it's Aaron's turn next. So yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So you don't see anything from the top of the wall, but standing at the edge of the alleyway. Uh, was the uh, is just this huge figure in a, cur- in a cloak, um, and you vaguely remember them uh, walking past them, feeding, uh, giving some uh, food and money to some orphans earlier in the alleyway, uh, in the streets. Ooh, can I? Can and have I they killed one of the other actors? The other yeah. one's still behind me, about to swing. The other one's behind you. The other one seems to be thrown the length of the alleyway. Okay. Can I take. Um, I, I use my action to look. The six seconds then to look down towards this guy. Can I try and figure out if he's about to cast another spell, whether we want like an arcana check? But I'm trying to get. If he's doing gestures, if we can hear him. Let's see what we have. Let's have a, uh, a 24. Yep. Uh, no magic was cast. This was physical. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. a bit spicy. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to whip around this guy and take cover behind some sort of... Uh, seeing that and this guy's about to swing at me, Arian will sort of duck and spin around the guy that's behind him to get behind the guy that was behind him. And just put him <laughs> between me and whatever is down the other end of this alleyway. Cool. Lily, you're up. Huh. Did she see any of this? Um, it's still, fo- still smoky, th- isn't it? It is, but it's starting to... After that, it's just huge like wave of force. This It is starting to disperse slightly. All along uh, the right-hand side of the alleyway is just clear now, following a trail from where this creatures have been thrown through it. Um, but yours is starting to disperse slightly, so you can sort of make out uh, shapes and figures. Not real, not really any definition, but the outlines of friend of it. Okay, I got re- real distracted by that, and I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> she's uh, so she can now see the guy that Arian's ducked behind. Yeah. So that's going to be the first thing that she can see, because the other the other guy's down. So she's just going to look at him and kind of just put her hand out um, and uh, cast Chill Touch okay. um, and create a ghostly skeletal hand. And basically, with, with Lily, it's less skeletal, um, mm-hmm. more but sticky. it's more sticky. <laughs> um, and it's kind of she, her hand thro- throws out, and it's like an echo, just sort of like bounces forward and grips hold of him. And um, uh, I've got to make a range. Oh, I've got to make a range spell attack. Oh, I forgot dear. I needed to do that. Yeah. Um, uh, that is a ten plus my spell casting Laura oh, definitely hits <laughs> 16 yep yeah, absolutely hits cool um <laughs> thank you for the sound effect um uh, I've heard <laughs> 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 it's, it's a very lily reaction <laughs> Cavalry is here, um, but also death. Yeah. I think Lily and Morn have a lot in common. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 14 necrotic damage. Oof. Yeah. Uh, and as this um, ghostly thing. Uh, so, yeah, describe what happens. The, the hand comes out and where does it go? It's it? sort of. Gra- it sort of echoes towards him and just kind of plants itself on their face. Yeah. Um, and kind of similarly to Blight, it's like just. It, it's sort of dementory, like just it gets sucked out and it sort of is drained of all 
of all vibrancy. Yeah, and with that, the creature just pulls from its face and just drops no. dead in the alleyway. I didn't like doing that! <laughs> <laughs> it is so good at it. So now the fog's cleared, yeah? Yeah, the fog is dispersing uh, and combat has ended. So Janice will kind of not pick Lily up, but like put his hand on her to sort of gesture her forward um, and give her five points of lay on hands. Oh, and then come up and meet Arian and touch him on the shoulder and give him five points of lay on hands. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give myself ten. Oh. Um, well, you know. Wow. Um, and then we're going to have a look at um, this thing that helped us um, with the battle there. And it's like, um, I, I don't know if it was intentional, but like, that was really helpful, so <laughs> thanks. Um, and yeah, as you look at this creature, uh, they stand just shy of about nine feet. Whew. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> the hood is up um, and they have this sort of, it's almost like a little hammer head, uh, like the, the top part of a hammer, but it's uh, like an emerald green brooch uh, on them. And um, as they step forward into the alleyway, they pull their head down. Uh, and you see this, uh, they look like a person, but the skin on them is really taut. Uh, almost like whatever is inside is trying to burst out of them. Um, their muscles like rippling um, and nothing super form fitting. It's like, um, I guess, well, you're absolutely welcome. And before you stand, the figure of Atlas Serena. Ooh. Oh. That is where we're going to take a break, guys. Good thing you didn't shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can't be mouthy. We can't. We can't be mouthy. We'll die. Seven. We'll die. We yeah. will die. Very different like, to the Justice League meeting, though. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you guys, who are you? So I hope he doesn't look at Janessa and go, that blue guy looks a lot like the red guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nay, nay. Yeah, so <laughs> we are going to take a 15 minute break. Uh, so get yourself a cuppa, mm. get yourself a blanket, and we'll be back shortly. And we're back. We're back. Woo! Oh, I'm yeah. so stressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're done. We can relax now. Yep. I'm, I'm excited that the, um, the, the Atlas is in it. Are yeah. you though? Because like, we have to remember that we don't know, none of us know actually. No, yeah, none of us know who probably never heard are. of it, maybe. Yeah. And funnily enough, you're acting as a proxy for some of the audience, because there's some, got some new people. Some of might not know. Don't yeah. Know. Yeah. 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 So Atlas was introduced to us in Justice League. Justice season League. So go watch that two. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Episode one, season two. Thank you. Well, you have to listen. Uh, you have to listen. Yeah. You can't watch. Yeah. yeah. He, he's he's Download badass. Download the podcast. Yeah. Download all uh, of our... But just go onto our podcast. Download it all now. Have a listen, it's fun. Yeah. Um, and a few of us are a little uncomfortable about how sexy his voice is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it makes me feel things and I don't know what I don't <laughs> know. Oh, I'm just glad there's a table. I do. Guys, why don't you tell me that now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just going to get my head. <laughs> oh no! I also, I also it's it's like... when you go home tonight and Daisy goes, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pot on the stilts. <laughs> I also wanted to address for the for the viewers why we ha- why why we look like a school disco. We've got all the girls down one end of the table, and all the boys down the other. <laughs> it is actually for um, microphone purposes because you have a different tombra pitch. Tombra. And girls smell in it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not allowed in the treehouse no more. And, and we're going to do the trash or slide. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll all hide when like Paul and Joy and Amy have their like first kiss and we all get really excited. <laughs> <laughs> cuties. Yeah. Cuties. Speaking of cuties. Should we play some D&D? Yes! <laughs> 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 I was going to say, oh, everyone roll me a constitution seamless. right now. Seamless. seamless. Everyone yeah. turn to the oh, left. <laughs> I am so good at these transitions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, that was a really intense bit. Yours Let's is. not address it for another hour. <laughs> 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 Pull and Yeah. So, um, we pick up the proverbial camera from that spot of tension, lift it up in the air, bird's eye view, and move further into the city. Uh, and we find ourselves um, focusing in on a pink haired elf and the beautiful golden dragon <laughs> body. <laughs> so, <laughs> Torrent is uh, elf chookies, chookies, um, dreadlocks, whatever they are, <laughs> tendrils. 
I don't think they're tendrils. Ooh, <laughs> Weird. Like their heads. Spine. Weirdly, yeah. Like spiny, yeah. spiny like spiny things. I prefer it to dreadlocks, I think. Tendrils. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not, they're not dreadlocks, because yeah. he doesn't have hair, so they're sort of. <laughs> More for the comments. Skin yeah. flaps. Yeah. <laughs> skin flaps. <laughs> skin flaps. <laughs> right, I, 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 I take the back skin, skin flaps. Geneus. Hi. Yes, Yeah, and appear to be. Not lost per se, but you just start taking in the sides, seeing Thank some you. of the nicer parts of the city. Um, Torrin is trying to head to this jeweler's, he doesn't necessarily know where it is from where no. they are, but that's his aim. And Frain is still on Hero, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, do you want to quickly give us an intro to Hero? Yeah, so Hero is um, Torrin's celestial steed from the find steed spell for all you D&D spell fans. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Uh, People who are fans of the spell, don't follow this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ten minute ritual cast. Hero is uh, jet black, uh, but his mane and his tail are red. Uh, they look like fire. I heard Hero was jet black and I'm like... <laughs> What? What? Did we <laughs> and you've he never heard him speak, but Connor from now on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not hardcore. <laughs> you're only from School of Rock. I, I felt like drifted into Danny Devito a little bit. <laughs> uh, don't we all? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yes, so. Uh, Do you want to give me a survival check? See if you can... A survival check? Yeah. yeah. Goodness. Mm-hmm. 18! Uh, lightning bolt strikes you and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> we did we did budget the dragons. Uh, we but that literally happens. That happens, that happens yeah. often. Yeah. So um, we died from weather twice in a row. We did. Before we even started the game. Yep. So find budgets the dragons, it is very funny. We will be on it in a few weeks or something. Yeah. Mm. But Whitley, um speaking about that, everything's really temperate. Although it's the um purple is surrounded by sea and like crashing waves and, you know, you'd expect it to sort of have more of a, a volatile temperature, but it is perfectly sort of I mean, all the time like for, for the days that you've been here. So I think Torrin is going to ask Frank if she can remember where they stayed. They stayed in a, they stayed in a big pub that was in a t- sort of town centre. So, um, a Lopticus, um, the the um, we stayed. Do you remember we stayed? There was a pub, and it had there was people. Do you remember the people? And and it was a pub, and it was like in a town centre. And you remember there was. Pe- little urchins. No, no. Yep, I, I think. Uh, do you mean the monster mash? The monster mash. That's right. We stayed there. Remember? I, I yeah, I, I remember. Why? Do you remember? Could you? How would we? I could ask someone. And Torin looks around to see if he can find anyone in the. If there's anyone around. Yeah. So there's, there's you know, it's fairly bustling. You're, it's a big metropolis. So pick a person, really. There's. Uh, there's families, there are people sort of looking like they're going to look, look for someone who looks quite poor and needy. <laughs> okay, and um, unfortunately that's not particularly difficult to find. Okay, he'll look for an uh, urchin. He's mainly a... Roll for urchins! Roll for urchins! Roll for urchins! Roll for urchins. Investigation. He's roll. Oh, no, an investigation, he's not going to find urchins. an urchin, it turns out. That was a three. Plus minus one. Two! In a city full of urchins, you roll for urchins and I'll find urchins. Uh, no, but um, with this file check, there wasn't just a gag roll. Um, okay. you, as you're looking around, you're like, that doesn't seem... What a, what a nice city this is! <laughs> <laughs> just clearly below your eye line. <laughs> filth and squalor. <laughs> so at the seven-foot mark. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, do you... Um, you sort of have a, a brief recollection of how you, you get back there, sort of. Uh, okay. Yeah. You, know, you could. You has a guess of how to get there. So that's where Torrin is going to head. So Torrin's going to. Uh, not. Go- I've got something for you. Come with me. Oh, something for me. Yes. What's a bit? That's uh, okay. She's she's very very confused, but she's also super stoked at the prospect of having a magical enchanted arm. <laughs> <laughs> she's just looking at me. Yeah, she's just got she's got the box on her lap. Um, she's also it's just occurred to her uh, how much uh, she clashes with Hero's mane. <laughs> she's very aware of how pink she is, and she was thinking, oh yeah, I'm pink and riding on a black steed with red hair. 
this is, no, this isn't good. Um, is she going to say anything about that? No. Okay. <laughs> no, no, just totally in her head. Uh, because because that would be showing some of her internal insecurity, right. sorry, yeah, which yeah. is not a thing that she is prepared to do. Side note, I do really like how very torrent it is that Frame sat there with a magical bit of wood that she's going to carve into an arm, and this is like, this is amazing. I know what would be better, a cheap bit of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> gift would be far superior. Yeah, we don't know it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Torrent's of the opinion that they've got the bit of wood, and then they'll find Lily, and Lily will turn it into a magical arm. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's what's So I want to say is that Frame's attention on this is the best thing ever. No, Jewelry will, will, will change her mind on that. That's <laughs> what it sounds like, right? I mean, do like jewellery. Is there Claire's in the book? <laughs> 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 I have the idea of Tarin queuing up with his teenage girls. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting? <laughs> no, Tarin, don't talk to the teenage girls. In fairness, Frame would fucking love Claire. <laughs> so, do you like those 21 crossbows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, as you make your way uh, through the town, uh, you less so looking more your little... Um, very nice wooden box with a wooden arm, soon to be, trademark. Um, yeah, you, you start leading your way through the streets, they're twisting and turning, and you start making your way towards the dead centre of the city. Um, and as you do, it, it becomes nicer and nicer, and that, the, top, the buildings become taller and uh, much more affluent, like, so like the beautiful stonework, uh, masonry's clearly gone into it. Until you hit a point, um, sort of like, you hit a, a, like a, a palisade almost, uh, like a half wood, half stone wall that's blocking off like a certain part of the city, like the, the central most point. Um, and the, you, you come to a gate with two guards either side of it, uh, and they go, <coughs> Hold it! <coughs> I'd love to say that as a character, but it's also me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, love. <coughs> yes! <coughs> Not bad. <coughs> Thank you. Um, can we? We kind of want to go in there. Oh, <coughs> yes, Absol- absolutely. Uh, do you have any uh, seal of authority or <coughs> names? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Torin's gonna get his 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 noble. His, his, he carries everywhere his yeah, yeah. noble. You know his what do you call the it? Heraldry. Yeah. The list of heraldry. Yeah. Nice. This is from the Golden Isle. It means nothing <laughs> to them. <laughs> to them but it's, it's a long list. There we go. I'm Lord Torrindar. <laughs> he's not. Like, he's not giving. No, it no, to no. Me, no. Like. He, pulls out, he pulls out a scroll. Um, <laughs> it just keeps going and it sort of falls onto the floor. It's like Lord Torrindar. <coughs> <coughs> mm. Excellent. Everything seems to be in order. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You look very, very regal, sir. Um, thank you. He thinks I'm I regal. He's a wise. You're a wise young man. What's your name, young man? <laughs> uh, the name's Reza. And I realise I've gotten straight into Torin's voice because it's so <laughs> fucking addictive. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Reza. That's a fine voice you have there, Reza. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to lean into it now. <laughs> Big eye roll from Frame. Oh, bloody hell! Uh, Re- Re- uh, Torin will sort of carry on past, and he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take a, a copper piece, no, <laughs> silver piece from okay. his bag, and he's gonna just sort of, ha- he's gonna attempt to sort of handshake and press it into like, it. Yeah, give me like his hand. Let's see how it goes. It's just going on the floor. <laughs> it's gonna be like Chandler and Friends. Ah, uh, that would be a three. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> you drop it. He goes to grab it, drops it, like on the third. Like, both of you just like. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we both look at it like. Uh, I think Torrin's trying to say with his eyes, "That's for you. Pick it up when we've passed. <laughs> Don't make me look like an idiot." <laughs> <laughs> and, Fra- and back from him, you get, "Of course." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Frayne's gonna reach into the boob, boobs of holding, take out a syrup, silver piece, and flick it um, up into the air very adeptly, hopefully. Uh, can I slap <laughs> <laughs> throwing silver coins at this guy? <laughs> <laughs> We're not rich. Do you want me to yeah, yeah, it? yeah. yeah. Roll, uh, I mean, what are you doing with all of our coins? Yeah. Like, we're noble You're... in stuff and we're heirs and princesses, but we're not rich. Yeah. I've got all the fucking money, mate. Yeah. Exactly! <laughs> Tell the money! Yeah. <laughs> that's quite a lot of money that he never mentions to you guys. Eleven. Eleven. 
<laughs> so you flick him from <laughs> there. <laughs> and, oh, he's fighting there. It's quite impressive. And he's like, I got this. <laughs> and completely butchers the grab. <laughs> and again, just... Ding, 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 ding. Like... <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not so good at catching. Anyway, uh, seal of uh, heraldry or name or Oh, status. you're after mine. Oh, uh... uh Unless he speaks for you. Crane's <laughs> 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 eyes, right? Crane's <laughs> eyes turn a darker purple. <laughs> and she sort of like runs her hand through her hair, like in order to touch Jeeves, but then thinks better of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I am Lady Lopticus, Lopticus Frayne of Corellan's Wood. Proof of this? I mean, look at me. <laughs> she is on a really big horse. She's on a really uh, big horse! <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, in that case, I'm Lox Mernig. <laughs> I'm wet. Look, can you see my crown? My little circlet? It- Who's Lox Mernig? Does our Tartan do not know who the Mernigs are? No! Oh. Tartan doesn't know who the Mernigs are! I don't know who the Mernigs are, but I've never heard of this Lox fellow. Oh, he's a billionaire playboy philanthropist. Is, that... is he related <laughs> to Lily Mernig? Lily Mernig. Uh, Lily Lixie Cl- Amber Faff Mernig. Lily Mernig. <laughs> mm, there's a lot of them. I'm not sure, you know. Um, Probably. After the tenth one, it gets a little hazy. Oh, yeah, very little. <laughs> yeah, very little. He's a halfling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, while you're yes! Just... Lily! Lixa to Amberfaf. We know her! <laughs> oh. We know her! She's literally my best friend. Your best friend? The literally best friend! <laughs> 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 I'm not going to tell her that, uh, Slip of the old uh, <laughs> memory box, right? <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, well, well. I mean, we could tell her, um, unless you know you didn't need proof that that I'm who I say I am. Ah, uh, well, <clears throat> everything seems to be in order here, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lady Logdukas Frane Frane, Frane of Corellin's Wood. Wood. Correct. <laughs> <Wood>. <laughs> Ah, welcome to the doldrums. And uh, he just quickly <laughs> sort of pushes <laughs> you both inside. <laughs> Read us his gut at attire. Well, I really liked him. It was really nice, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't that bright? Well, they can't. He's only a guard. Come on, Loctacus. Well, I think sometimes your, your idea of hierarchy is a little bit antiquated. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just say in facts now. <laughs> Antiquated is correct. I don't think you know what that word means. It means uh, the proper way things are done. <coughs> don't worry, I'll explain it all to you. I'm sure you will. Cool. So as <laughs> the mansplaining <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Again, for new listeners, for this is damage. entirely <laughs> tolerable. It's roll for psychic damage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's 88. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, this part of the city weirdly doesn't look any nicer than the bit you've just come from. Um, like, actually, it almost looks like a downturn. Everything in here seems to be made from reclaimed wood. Um, there are masts sticking out of buildings, there are sort of like pirate hel- heraldry uh, hanging off things. Everything seems to have been made from a ship or parts from a ship. But they are almost impeccable. Like the wood itself is like lacquered with an inch of its life. It's, it's broken and fractured and quite clearly aged, but it, you know, it's polished, sheened. And as you walk past, you see people like fervently sort of keeping their, uh, upkeeping their houses and their, and their place of business. Almost in competition with one another. Um, you get, see someone getting like tea coil out, just really going to town on it, while staring at their neighbour. Uh, so they get to get like a little sanding paper out and sort of make everything look really nice and start gilding the edges. Uh, Torin, um, which of these teak collars do you think would be best for, say, an enchanted arm? Oh well, um, I like that one. That one. 
Yes. <laughs> he <laughs> points at one. <laughs> would you care to elaborate on that? What that one looks like? Would you like Paul to describe the? I would describe like the exact, exact, exact color of. Uh, well, I'm going to say the very, very dark one, similar to that dice tray, excellently made by Critic. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Noise. Roll that. Uh, roll that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of like a, a really dark teak. Yes. Um, kind of wood. Oh. Oh yeah. Quite. I quite like. That. I think it would go excellently with the pink. Just oh. like in that excellent <laughs> dice tray made by Critics. <laughs> <laughs> and she's she kind of like has a little look at how her her boots look against Hero, and how dark Hero is, and like. No, actually, I, I, I like that idea. Is there anyone around polishing that particular? Uh, house well, or? I mean, Torrin's pointed a house out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so as you go over, um, <clears throat> you see that it's not so much a house as it is a uh, like a shop front. Uh, it's this dark, dark black in wood color. Uh, there is just a small patch that seems to have been worn away. That this um, minotaur is. Just going over with several layers, uh, and above this uh, shop sign, uh, it says "Indomitable." Okay. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, sir. Um, I just wanted to inquire as to, to what what kind of staining you're using on that wood, because it is really beautiful. All right, this is a uh, this is a, an open green. Um, uh, it's a varnish, actually. Uh, it's a finishing. Uh, it took me a while to, to get it all done, but now yeah, this final layer protects against elements, uh, salt, bit of fire, not much fire, but a little bit, uh, water, and it just ca- ca- carries on just peeling <laughs> off. Now, <laughs> well, do you have any? No, I'm pulling this out of my arse. <laughs> oh, I don't I think... I got a cloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, locked, because I don't think you want to stay yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this, this pulls it from his arse. Uh, please excuse my extremely dim-witted but very shiny friend. Um, would you be willing to um, maybe sell me some of your varnish? Uh, I mean, I don't see why not. I only need like a small tin of it, or only really enough to cover, say, say an arm's worth. Um, just to remind you, the, the wood itself is like a much darker black than the, the varnish you're looking for. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> well, yeah, let me uh, let me finish up the room, we'll go inside and uh, I can, I don't know, decant you some or I can do it for you. Like uh, That'll be, that'll be jolly nice, thank you. Great, yeah. not, not a problem. Uh, just, Goes back to town and starts whistling to himself. And he's clearly taking his time. <laughs> um, we, I mean, we're 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 in a bit of a hurry. We've got to go and get something from a shop, then find our friendly druid to turn this into an arm. Uh, apparently, <laughs> <laughs> Torin has literally no idea the level of Lily's skill. He just thinks she's the best druid there's ever been. Aww. She's very good at murdering things. Do you know how to spell so create arm? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might do. I've got a lot of them on these in track. So yeah, uh, after maybe sort of 10, 15 minutes, he's really just sort of going over the same spot, <clears throat> um, like meticulously. Like, right, well, job's done. Come inside, I guess. I mean, we could just purchase it from you here. You could. And he walks inside. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Um, she's going to gracefully slide off of um, Hero and follow the monitor inside. Excellent. So uh, as you go inside, um, the room itself um, is actually just a really well kept. Uh, like, it is a like slab stone floor, but like almost like a marble sheen, like mm-hmm. glass almost. Uh, and the back of it is this huge forge. Uh, there's flame, like you can feel intensity as you're going in. It appears to be a blacksmith's. Uh, before Torin goes in, he's going to whisper something to Hero and then <coughs> go in. Yeah, anything in particular? Cool. I, I can. Oh, you, I, it's, I'll. I'll <coughs> well, it, it, it'll be fun for me to tell you when we come back. Okay, in. cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay no. Just doing some setup. All right, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, <coughs> is this. Are you a blacksmith? Duh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sassy blacksmith. Look. And he goes and puts on this like le- like rough hewn leather apron. 
What have you got for sale, then? Oh, well, now he's interested. I thought we were just doing this outside. Oh, well, um, you see, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm very attached to, to my, my current leather armour, but I, I would not be averse to um, maybe some studded leather armour, for instance. You want me to put some studs in your leather? Would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Take me a couple of hours, maybe? Oh, Torin, could we leave it? We could, we could maybe... Oh, no. If we leave it with him... That does mean I don't have any armour for a couple of hours. Now, I knew of a dragonborn lady called Lady Godiva. Right. Now, <laughs> she did not need armour to go about the town on a horse. Right. Um, I, I mean, I have heard of Lady Godiva. I'm not sure she was a dragonborn. And I also think it's probably more acceptable for a dragon born to, to wander around in the nuddy, um, <laughs> probably more acceptable than an elf. Well, you, um, you, you, you people are very prudish, aren't you? I, I, I'm a little concerned that you're just trying to get me naked, Torin. Um, the, uh, <laughs> 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 <coughs> uh, I'm really bad at Yorkshire accent. <laughs> <laughs> so's <is> mum. <laughs> no, we're doing this all. Um, I'm really nervous. Um, oh. Yeah, oh, oh, how much would it cost? How long are you willing to leave it up? A rough, rough job, probably. 40 gold. 40 gold? Oh. If, you, if you give me a day, I can do it in. No, 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 no. A couple of hours will do it. That means we can, you know, go and pick up... Do our minutes. errand, get your new arm, come back. Sounds like a plan. <coughs> yeah, well, all right then. Uh, and she's just going to start unlacing her armour. Um, <coughs> and she is absolutely wearing stuff underneath. <laughs> <laughs> because what kind of mentalist would not wear something underneath leather? Shaping. <laughs> Shaping. What? She's Tony, just Tony's more wearing full plate and only a pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> She's got scales. Yeah. Yeah. Scales. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, underneath, uh, she's wearing a sort of um, off one shoulder, uh, white, purple and gold uh, crop top uh, that's quite loose. Um, and uh, she's got like a little, uh, little kind of Grecian um, skirt in the in the same kind of style. Um, and what I like to call safety pants, it's like a black pair of cycling shorts. Um, am I supposed to turn away? Uh, well, uh, should we? Uh, I can show you what I've got in there. I, I'd really like an upgrade on this shield. I finally strip off, and no one's even bothered to watch. <laughs> Right, uh, well, uh, shield, uh, I mean, same thing, if you, if you leave it with me a bit, I can probably re-imbue it with some, uh, some nicer metals, maybe make it a bit stronger for you. Oh, I would like that a lot. I mean, chuck it in together, I can probably get it, might take a little longer to be honest, but four hours, say? Eh? Four hours, and I built out my shield for four hours, but Noctica is without her armour. I think we'll be fine. We're very strong, aren't we, Loctacus? We're very good at fighting, aren't we? Joanne says no, and Frayn says yeah, of course. <laughs> very good. Uh, there we go. Well, have you got a shield I could take? Like, you keep my shield and make it better, but give me a shield to take away with me, like a higher <laughs> shield. A nice rental service. A rental shield. shield. <laughs> right. Not something we do, to be honest, but be happy to work it out for you. Just for you. A discerning gentleman. Oh, oh very metal. good. So he, he'll gladly like give. The, well, how much will so that cost? The red shield, shield. And the, and the leather, uh, in, in the four-hour rush. Oh yes, if you wouldn't mind. It's a little bit more. Maybe we'll do it for eighty-seven. For the two. Okay. Uh, I mean, yes. Considering we got my magic arm for you know. Only 15 of the greatest tree that ever was. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's very... I'm, I mean, I'm happy to... Sh I'm, I'm happy to pay my share. Oh, your or, share? Where... What? Torin, have, have you got money that we haven't got in the uh, bag of holding? Oh, yes. <laughs> Does anyone else know about this? Did I know about this? It's just my money, so... No. Everyone else's money we've, we've all put together. Well, I must. Well, Lily had like a few silvers because she paid for the veg, but that, that was true. it. <laughs> the rest of you didn't seem to have very much money, and you don't really seem very good at looking after it. So I thought, well, I would look after my money just in case you needed it in the future. Ah, 
Right. And she's going to take like a couple of coins out of the bag of holding and like slip them in. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'll pay 50. You pay the rest. You've got yourself a deal. Beautiful, thanks. Uh, half now, half when we come back. Oh, <coughs> that's that just very me. clever. But, but you'll <laughs> have says my to no one. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll have my armor, yeah, and you'll yeah, have his shield. I'll be working on it, so it's not going anywhere. But we have got flight risks. People leave the city through, you know, their volition or someone else's all the time. I don't think we would. No. No, we'll a lot of people back. say that. To be honest, look at the size of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Torin. So Torin's a bit annoyed by the suggestion that he might not come back. So Torin's going to attempt to intimidate this guy. Oh my god! Doing it. You two are just like the chaos. <laughs> um, you have like a really god, sweet deal. You're like, no. <laughs> I think it's perfectly reasonable. You've not paid for goods before you've received them. I suspect he fails. Uh, Thirty. Yeah, so as you do it, he um, sizes you up and st- just <coughs> flexes himself and does it back at you. And there's just a battle of wits, uh, and I think in that 20 feet. So. <laughs> 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 He's a little bit turned on right now. Torrin goes, well, fair enough. I do that <laughs> reason we've got a business to run. We'll come back here, and if he doesn't give it back, we'll... I tell you what, you give him 87, oh. and I will pay you mine once we come back. Okay! Fred's Fair not enough. paying. <laughs> Fred's not paying. I mean, did you want to look around while you're here, or you got somewhere what else, else to do? You got? Well, we're, we're after that varnish. Absolutely. He's throwing that in, I'm sure. You'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, here are a series of different things. Uh, it, 50 fit silver for varnish. Right, okay, Absolutely yep, yep, varnish. that sounds good, sounds <coughs> good. Uh, Frayne has the problem that once she has started shopping and broken the seal, she can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's got a variety of different things. Uh, he gives you a shield in the meantime. Uh, it is not as nice as yours. <laughs> um, uh, it's sort of um, a project that he's been restoring by the looks of things. It's sort of half, like... The top half's really nice, and he's clearly been putting a lot of work into it. There's a bit of rust on the bottom, uh, but mechanically the same thing. Um, I like the idea that it has like www.indomitable.com. Yeah, yeah <laughs> one of that size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if found, please return. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, next to the forge is a, a bunch of different things. So there are these really, really beautifully like intricate braces. Uh, they're like gauntlets, even sorry, um, and they are like full metal up to about here. Uh, and they just they pulsate really gently with like a um, just like a faint glow. Uh, there's a huge great sword, like, um, but the blade part of it seems to almost be carved of granite. It is like hefty. Wow. Um, and there's <clears throat> yeah, th- there are various other sort of uh, swords, spears, you know, your you general paraphernalia for for militaristic endeavors. But these couple of things really stand out to you. Uh, what are the gaunt? What are those gauntlets? Do I like the look of those gauntlets? So uh, they've been enchanted with uh, giant strength. So whoever wears them feels a lot stronger than they did a minute before. I'm really strong. Yeah, you'll feel a bit stronger. Stronger than me? Probably. Mm. How strong are we talking? <laughs> what mathematically? No, I just think you know maybe if if somebody wore them who was not maybe as strong as Tarin. Would they be as strong as Tarin? As strong as a giant, probably stronger than him. To be honest, he looks fairly. Uh, I want, I want them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's I not... want them. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what hand do you normally fight with, Lux? Because the right. <laughs> oh. And as it looks to you, goes. Sorry, it, the enchantment does only work as a pair. I'm afraid. Oh. Dear. I am getting another arm. Oh, never mind, Lopticus! <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> how, how much are they, then? Oh, they're pretty hard to come by, to be honest. Okay. 450 gold. That's a lot of money. Mm, I like them, though. Do we have 450 in the kitty? <laughs> Just checking. 
Uh, she's going to have a little route around. So, uh, Not for you to spend on yourself, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to play that? Uh, it would reach all the strength score to 21. You can't whistle, but what I one? want them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we might need to save up a bit. Okay. Well, we could talk to the group. Maybe they want me to be really much stronger. <laughs> maybe, maybe they would. I tell you what. Let, let's leave the gentleman to, to get yeah. back. When we come back, we yeah. can have another conversation with there him. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much. I didn't even ask you your name. I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's, uh, it's Bash. Bash Malduk. Bash Malduk. That's a good name. Solid enough. I like that. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh, it sounds like a come on to me. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking at Torrin when he said that. <laughs> It's not no Darren and Golden Boy. Uh, no, it's, it's an excellent, <laughs> excellent name. <laughs> okay, we've got to carry on, Locked, because I've got that thing. Okay, right, that's fine. Uh, we'll be back. Right. Well, so when I won't we, hold my breath. When we come back out, yeah. uh, Hero, if you'll allow it, Mr. DM, there's nothing in the rules to say I can't do this. <laughs> uh, Hero is now, Mahogan, <laughs> is now the same colour as the boat with pink hair, as the oh, building yeah. with pink hair and tail. Yeah, you get to design... You would? Would you have to resummon it for that? Do you know? I'll I, I'm not whatever. doing it for the other It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it looks, uh, it's good. That's what you'd look like, Loctacus. <sighs> that is amazing. Oh my, oh my Corellan, that is just, that's incredible. Um, I just, oh. I can't leave him like that because obviously. I've got to go into battle. <laughs> Less intimidating. Uh, what are you saying? You're saying that pink is not. In- you- Look at my face. <laughs> you telling me this is not intimidating? Your face is intimidating. <laughs> Thank you. She takes that as a massive compliment. Um, uh, yeah. So she uh, um, hops back up onto uh, Hero, uh, one-handed and graceful as always. And Torin just looks at Hero and says, No, Hero, you will have to go back. <laughs> no, Hero, you know. <laughs> Hero wants to stay pink. I mean, to be fair, like when painting the mini, you just have to put the pink on and you're done. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> true. Hero looks a little sad at having to go back. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, you make your way out of Indomitable. Mm-hmm. Indomitable. Indomitable. Making names I can't say. Uh, and start making your way <clears throat> over to the jewelers. Yes. Nice one. Uh, so, yeah, you. Pass a variety of different things. Um, the nothing seems to be on the street, sort of market-wise. Everything is indoors now. Though there are uh, much more intricate signs above, like most of the shops. Uh, it seems like this is a very sort of mercantile hub, um, sort of in the lead up to the most central part of the city. And as you look up above the um, <coughs> the wooden ship shops. Uh, you see the huge spire in the middle of the city, which houses the seven. Uh, it's this massive sort of stalagmite sticking out of the centre of the city, uh, with various sort of additions of ships being like winched up uh, halfway and three quarters, stuck to the side and um, sort of impaled in, uh, making it look sort of like a, a collection of like uh, like a bee's nest or, or something like that sticking out from uh, parts of the spire. Uh, and it doesn't take long for you to find your way back to the uh, the jewellers, uh, the Gilded Lily. Um, and you make your way in, and um, this floaty air genasi uh, greets you. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, you are back. Yes, I'm back. Uh, Torrin's going to have told Frayne to wait outside. Mm. Did Frayne listen? Frayne is going to listen. She oh. likes a surprise. Uh, I, I came in, do you remember? I, ca- I came in... Um, I don't know how many days, it was a few days ago. It was not a matter, my friend, I, I remember you. How could I forget? You were beautiful, beautiful, magnificent. And you see there's a, there's a drawing of Torrin <laughs> <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> oh yes, you, the drawing. Well done, it was a very good try. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not my best work, but I must capture your beauty. Ah, oh, you, you did. I am very beautiful. I'm very happy to pose for you, but we're on a bit of a mission. We have to find our little friend. She's going to make an arm. Uh, but you made me something, didn't you? I have a special uh, request. Uh, and he pulls out this tiny, it's such a delicate bit of, um, like, it's a small necklace housing a pink jewel, uh, sort of ruby or garnet in cut, um, and then sort of uh, opalescence. But the, the chain itself is so thin, it's like 
almost like a hair. There's like a serious level of craftsmanship that went into this thing. Um, and he passes it up and he's like, do not drop it. It's very delicate. Oh, this is very good. I'm doing hands of... It's you've got a little box. Yes, of course. And he, he pulls out. Uh, it's not super uh, like ornate or anything, um, but it just houses. Uh, it's, it's about f- about half a foot big. Uh, it just would be enough to like house the necklace inside. Oh, well done. You've done very well. Thank you very much. That's quite all right. And for the purposes, you get this. Ooh. Paul's just been handed a note. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't just randomly do ghost stories. <laughs> so does, Tor- do. does Torin sense that? Does Torin know that about it? Uh, so as you have this conversation, um, <clears throat> the the edge message just does go through the details with you of, of what it is. Oh, that's, you've done very excellent work. Um, I think I should give you a tip. It deserves a little flying uh, sure? When you make this on, bring it back to me, and I would uh, I'd like to deploy it. Yes, it won't, it's not going to be my arm. Uh, less interested, but still. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, when I've got more time in the city, well, I'll come back. We'll have we'll have some mead. We'll do some drawing, and who knows what else? I think I know what else. This <laughs> 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 is coming on to Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Torin, Torin, genuinely is like, yeah. Hmm. Okay, he's genuinely up for this idea of coming back. He's looking during at his, the month. He's looking at his watch, thinking it isn't long. It's, he's got about he's got a little while, but he needs to really find somewhere for rutting purposes. That's a bit sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, getting on. he's getting a necklace for Frank, but he's also thinking of hooking up with the Janassi whilst he's there. He might as well. Look. I mean, Dragonborn are not monogamous, <laughs> monogamous in any no, way. No, I'm not judging. I'm just clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> the month of the rut is indiscriminate. Yes, <laughs> the month of the rut is just about sex. So you have. You know, you're getting somebody a present because you like them, but also you could hook up with the person that's got them a present. <laughs> now, you don't have to be monogamous, that just feels a bit cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit on the slutty <laughs> side. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so Torin's going to obviously thank him, yep. leave the shop, um, and then I think Torin would like to find somewhere where he can see sort of <laughs> over the city out to the ocean. I mean, because they're quite high. Uh, yeah, so the, the centre of the city is sort of on, <clears throat> on a slight incline. Um, but if you're looking for a, like a taller building to go from, uh, there is the spire, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, and there's this huge. Um, it's one of the only buildings that seems to be several stories higher. Um, most of them seem to sit about two, three stories. This is much, much bigger. Um, the wood itself seems to be more of an outer layer, and it looks almost like a dragon. There are huge steps going up to the center of the dragon's mouth. And it's standing, like, you know, from the top of the steps, you're maybe about a third, half as high as the spire, and you can probably see the whole city from there. The entrance now, is up this half. So Torrin's put this in his satchel. He says, now, I've got it, I've got it here for you, but I think I should, let's go somewhere nice, and I'll give you a really nice present. I'm, I'm really <clears throat> confused. It is not, it's not been my birthday. When uh, is your birthday locked? Because We'll talk about that later. Oh, okay. Um, I... <laughs> I'm just a bit confused, Torin. I I don't really... I mean, not that I'm ungrateful. I love a Prezi. You know I love a Prezi. Just... When you see it, it will make sense to you, I think. Okay. What are we doing? There's a massive dragon! It's <laughs> a big dragon. There's a massive dragon. I like dragons. Let's go there, and then I'll give you your present. If she could shrug, she would. And then we'll find Lily and she'll, she'll make your arm in, uh, she'll do the arm thing for you. Uh, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> really put the pressure on Lily. <laughs> the more Torrin says Lily will make your arm, the more I'm like, oh, what are you going to do with this arm? So, they, yeah, so he's going to head in. Yep. Uh, I, do, I mean, yeah, he's going to head in. So he can get it is steps, up. It is a lot of steps up to the, So the, the entrance to this building is in the mouth of this dragon. Um, it is huge. It is maybe sort of 80 feet to 100 feet up. Um, like vastly dwarfs everything else in the city that is the spire. Um, so in, in the doldrums, this part of the city that is the spire. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and as you make your way up to the top, uh, <laughs> 
Pretty hard going. <laughs> it's not <laughs> cardio. It's all right, I'm riding on the arrow. <laughs> um, yeah, you get a beautiful uh, look at the city, and we are going to cut back to <laughs> the rest of the party. Yeah. So we're staring at a nine foot. Just shy of nine foot. Just shy of oh, nine foot. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Large man. Large man. Okay. Large man. Okay. Don't do race. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thank you's in order. Yeah, yeah. definitely, as um, long as you're not going to hit us. Yeah. I mean, that remains to be seen, to be honest. What, oh, uh, what happened? We were just passing through. Uh, we're just having a look around. We're visiting. And we were attacked. Yeah, we were just, like, going about our business. We were having a mooch about. And then this this sort of ratty man came upon <laughs> us. And, and, and he... <laughs> <laughs> he whispered so, so, so. something to Janaeus and, and he wanted to take him and now and and then, and then they just sort of started firing arrows and there was smoke about and then I was <laughs> <laughs> and about halfway through that Alice just holds one hand up. <laughs> and she'll just <laughs> Did you say Ratty? Yes, it was a ratty run! They all seem to be of like the uh red like persuasion. Rodent. Yeah. Rodent-y. Rodent-like. Yeah. Rodent-y. Uh, I think I know who you're on about. Uh, there's uh, some thieves that operate out of just outside of town. They don't usually come this far inward, though. They've got their own operation uh, <coughs> in the Messinist. Oh. It's weird that they keep. They don't. Us- we have had an understanding. Uh, this said, crosses the line. They said something about um, somebody needing to see me. Was that part of their routine or...? No. Not usually. Petty thieves. So Not like, messengers. Likely to be hunted down by the more, Or do you think this is more of a sporadic...? There's just a lot of them. There's a couple made one, their way. Yeah, I yeah. think one hopped away. And then I don't think this is the last you're going to see this lot. Oh, Good. No. Um, and Lily's gonna turn and look at the <laughs> destroyed houses. Um, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to break it so much. I was trying to make them wobble off, and it got away um, from me. <laughs> yeah, he just holds one hand up, so about halfway through your. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, little one. Uh, you're defending yourselves, and that uh, most people here would understand. Most, maybe keep it. Uh, and just, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any way you can recommend that we can pass through without causing any more attention to ourselves? Uh, Depends where you're trying to get to. Just to uh, just to an artificer's, I think, just at the end of this alleyway, if I remember. I mean, he sort of has a little look down the alley. He's like, I don't think you're going to get murdered at the end of that. <laughs> I, I mean... You'll be surprised what we get. You murdered. would say yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> and Lily's gonna she's sort of gonna look at the other two. Who is he? Yeah, I was just thinking the same. You seem a bit more than a city guard. Are we who are we in the presence of? Are you the king of this city? Uh, well, there's no monarch of the plug hole of but I'll wreck my dice tray anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not as such, uh, we, uh, I mean, I guess, the name's Atlas. Cool. And I, I, I lead the council here. I sit on the main chair. Like a hero council, like, making sure everything that goes on here is, like, the good stuff and keeping, like, the bad rag guys out, <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. We <laughs> do our best in a really <clears throat> shit situation. So, yes, a hero council. Nice. Oh, that sounds really powerful and brave. Great yeah. to meet somebody with good intentions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to say, not to, not to be suspicious in any way, but was it by luck you stumbled across this, or? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I walk the cities very often, and you three attract a lot of attention. Uh, they stick out like a sore thumb. Thank you. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 just name is Flex, is he? Yeah. Yeah. just someone that's he literally looks. twice as tall as him. <laughs> Tiny, <laughs> good in comparison. Yeah. I mean, Lily's gonna, she's gonna look down. She's like, I, well, Frame normally tells me that I blend in quite into the background because I'm, I'm small and, and, and scruffy. Um, Little Manic. You don't blend in anywhere. She's just kind of, kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh crap! Make it my job to know most people in my city. You, I don't know though. <gasps> I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Depends. Do I need to know who you are? I'm, I'm with these two with definitely the same intention. So if you trust them. If you do, then I'm okay. I do not. I don't trust anyone in my line of work. The people who are watching your back are the first ones to stab you in it. Oh, wow. Okay. This whole hero business is really hard. Like, didn't realize it was so intense. You have no idea. So, end of the alleyway for you lot. It is, yes. Just down to. Uh, yeah, just down to Malzac, the artificer. Just to have a look through. I've done business with him in the past. Great. Okay, I'll watch over you. Uh, Prince of the Sea. Yes. Walk with me. Uh, okay. Um, and something he... about his voice says that it wasn't a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to turn around to the other two and be like, um, I'm a little bit out of juice and um, also, like, <laughs> I don't think I can quite take him. Um, I mean, <laughs> like, maybe. No, anyway, but. <laughs> yeah, you guys go with. To the work artificers, yeah. and we'll be safe when we get there. Okay. Work with him; it could be a good ally to have. Well, he is a brave and powerful hero, so <laughs> and probably real friendly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he seems nice enough. So yeah, he does. <laughs> a, a big friendly giant. Yeah. <laughs> That's the BFG. Yeah. Right. Um, and then yeah. So um, I'll meet you outside the shop in a bit. Yeah. If we're not there, then um. We'll be back home. Cool. And he looks a bit like nervous at the prospect of having to go back to the office by himself, but also like, we'll wait. Come on, we'll wait. Around the corner, you just hear this bone snap. So he stands there and watches as you make your way through the alleyway, um, just sort of stoically um, through to the other side. Yeah. And um, Lily's going to whisper to Arian as they walk, like, okay. Friendly in a sort of terrifying and ominous way. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, he knows who we are. They've seen us before. I think if they wanted us dead, they would have done it. Or he would have done it a while ago by now. By the sounds of it, they've known about us for a little bit. So, yeah. I think we're okay. Yeah. Let's just hope. <laughs> Do you know to be fine? Like, you saw him in the fight. We've seen him fight. He'll be fine. Yeah. He'll be okay. Plus, <laughs> okay. like... Get there. We'll, you'll like this guy. We'll go visit this guy. We'll sort some things out. We'll get home. Janice will probably be there already. Yeah. You'll be fine. So, um, as you see Lily and Arian walk to the end of the alleyway and, and turn, um, he, Atlas, turns and starts walking away. The ground sort of trembles under each one of his steps. Um, and I kind of, like, Stagger, I guess, a bit, and um, try not to show that um, like the ground is shaking for me, and I'm a bit scared. Um, and then he'll just like run up and catch up and be like, "Um, so uh, how how can I be of service or, or help or whatever?" Or, 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 he's just he's he's living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again, he just holds up one hand and goes, "Yeah, the hand, right." I've uh, I've been hearing some things, and your name's been in most of them. So I wanted to assess the situation for myself. And I thought I was being subtle. Mm. How many did you kill? What, the red folk? Like, only the big one. And maybe like, yeah, just the, just the big one. No. No, not the big one. Not the rat folk. On the island of Kor, how many did you kill? Ah. You have no idea what that is. 
I don't have what, sorry? Corey. Yeah. Which, I mean, we, there was one island we were at, a uh, volcano, a uh, nice uh, stick lady who was very helpful. I, this, I think that's the only island we visited. Um, oh, there's, yeah, I think that's the only one we've been to. <coughs> so you're telling me uh, you want the Prince Genius of Thrindel on a Triton ship that made its way to Core three days ago and burned it to the ground? No, no, I was definitely here in my friend's study three days ago, um, but I think I know um, who you refer to. <laughs> that was great. Paul got it. <laughs> um, there is a, uh, a, a Genesia amongst my people um, who is a bit of a shapeshifter. Um, and it sounds like it's kind of the, if you mind my language, fuckery that he would get up to. Aye, fuckery. You've landed yourself in a very, very bad situation. I didn't do anything, I was literally asleep. <laughs> Aye, that's the situation. Oh. And it's, just, it's sort of walking, it's like very, very sort of slowly towards the other town. It's like, look. I don't think you're a bad guy. Personally, all this hero talk, it's nice. It's reminiscent, it feels warm. But you can't help everyone. You've got to look after your own mess before you start fixing the world. Yeah. Yeah, th that makes sense, I guess. And as the conversation continues, he, you, you make your way to like a wall. And it's like the wall of the city, but part of it is just crumbled away. And he stands there for a second. And as you look out, there's this huge, like vast wooden structure. It's, it seems to be like thrown together bits of wood and like floating parts of, of ships and docks and everything just seems to be coming together. And uh, he goes, look at them. So close, yet out of my reach. I do nothing to help them, but they're in my turf. Do you see? Yeah. He's saying that and he really doesn't <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Everything the light touches. Yeah. <laughs> What's that place? <laughs> the mouse! <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is things close to home aren't necessarily the always nicely tied up. You need to sort this, because it's becoming a problem. Well, where, where even is this island? It, it, it's, is he attacked any others, or...? I mean, who knows? He was looking for something. And he's raised an army of my people. They have a ship. That's all I know. Like, that's just so typical of my dad. Like, literally, Storm could just rock up wearing my face and he wouldn't even ask a question to see if it was actually me or not. Raise an army and then go burn down an island. No questions asked. That just seems normal. <sighs> I'm gonna ask you nicely once. It seems like problems might follow you and I really, really don't want that in my city got enough shite going on here as well, as it is. It's just you and your friends make your way expeditiously. Well, you'll be glad to know, like, as soon as we can, we plan to be out of here. We've got some stuff to be getting on with in somewhere else. And we won't be around for much longer. And um, thank you for bringing this uh, situation um, to my notice. And um, yeah. Guess I'll have to do something about it. <clears throat> I think you will. There's. Will you do one thing for me? Sure. Out there. And he just nods to the the mass. I cannot go. But I think your bat friends might be. I also think there's someone who might be able to help you get out from the city. Okay. I can't show my hand. The rest of the seven might interfere. 
Okay. Go to the commune. Tell them Atlas sent me. Commune. Atlas sent me? And they'll help. Okay. Well, where's the commune? What What is the commune? It just points over the, into the, the landmass. Uh, the landmass. The, the floating mass of, of right. ships and docks. Cool. Um, in there. Okay. And Nessa so put up his rubbed hand for a handshake. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, like, tougher than I look. <laughs> um, and then we'll dive in, I guess. Towards the... To the commune, yeah. And what? What? Isn't there, was I not looking at a sea mass? It's yeah, but like, it's the boss! <laughs> what have I been told to do something by a really big, scary, strong man? <laughs> They're going to have to outrank that. <laughs> Uh, and as you go under and you come up to surface, um, it, it's not far. The, 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 the mass itself connects. You can walk along it, but it's um, yeah. As you as you surface, um, he just goes, oh, Janaeus. Oh yeah. Hi. Tell. Uh, tell Lily, I'm sorry. Oh, what did you do? And he walks. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and then this starts. <laughs> Thank you, that was some great acting by me. He'll <laughs> 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 start swimming. Tony. Hey! 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 Oh, we've come to the end of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, Can you roll me a perception check, please? I'm use my big, big dice. Crit it dice. Crit it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is great, like... DD10 for 10% off. Discount. Oh, yeah. uh, all purchases, baby. 12. 12. Oh, perception, wait a second, sorry. Yeah, you got, you got additives there, boy. Where's my... <coughs> oh, I don't know, we don't use her all episodes. <laughs> yeah. no, 14. 14. The line is, I'd like my ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite a callback. Yeah. <laughs> so, from your perch, uh, you see a large figure turn away, and you see a fish person dive into. <laughs> Honestly, you don't bring racism <laughs> at every possible opportunity. Right, right. Just a little fish boy. Just, yeah. just a little fish boy. Little I, fish boy. Guess, I guess you know one boy. in the city has really seen a tribe. There yeah. are sea elves, there are merfolk, there are merrow. Yeah, there's there's many Nuka. different, there's a whole fish different people. species down there. <laughs> and the fish boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fish boy. <prince. Fish laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, and do you see them swim up and do you stay in the water? Do you get out? Um, so, how is, is it? Is it easy to sort of just? Get yeah, out? So yeah. Everything is just sort of floating on the water. It's it's made of like completely wrecked ship parts, okay. uh, bits of like floating box, jets and floats, and like anything that could have survived a shipwreck has been banded together, lassoed into one thing, and just it's sort of it's like that garbage island in the middle of the in the middle of the sea in, in the real world. Okay. Like. Um, yeah. But wooden. Chase yeah. wall hands. Pull himself up, take a quick moment to just like swoosh the hair and all the water, <laughs> and then just give a smile first. It's like, hey, Ella sent me. How are you? I can see that. So, what's your name? I think that's on a need to know basis. As far as I can tell, I don't think you need to know, mate. Not, not quite yet. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm aroused. <laughs> <laughs> and scared at the same time. Yeah. I want to know what you look Yeah. Yeah, yeah what am I seeing? Um, so what you see sitting on her perch is a dark blue, I'm so sorry, um, tiefling with hair, black hair with a big, with a white, platinum white streak in it, all tied up. She's wearing a long black cloak um, and she's just sitting there very casually but she's probably got like some sort of um, sort of, uh, tankard in her hand that's definitely been stolen from a pub <laughs> um, <laughs> just drinking um, and she but she's she's staring right at you because you know she's, she just want to make sure that um, she's on her own <laughs> 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 she sounds badass <laughs> yeah I'm 
Um, she is badass. So, so, yeah, yeah, so needs no basis. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I, I was kind of sent here. I like your hair. I like yours. Oh, thanks. I try and do something with it. Um, so, why am I here? I've, uh, I've been told you need some help. Yeah. Uh, was it the ship stuff? Oh, was it the traveling stuff? It oh. was, it was, it was help getting you the hell oh. out of this shithole. Yeah, yeah, we need to go to, on a needs to know basis. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Party of absolute idiots. <laughs> <laughs> For the podcast listeners, Stephen has a shit eating grin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the star, and to, yeah. Well, I thought there was more of you, though. It just seems that you're on your own, and now you've you got some friends oh, talking about yeah. you. So, um, my friend Lily and Arian, they've gone to like a shop to go and do some stuff to see somebody about something. Oh. And uh, my friend Torin, he's a dragonborn, I'm, I think he might be dead. And um, Brain, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's lost an arm. And she's lost an arm, but she seems alright about it. So, um, oh, I probably told you too much. <laughs> and we what? need to get somewhere. Okay, well, do you want to bring him with you, or is it just you? Because that's fine by me, I don't care. Oh, what? Like the things here? <laughs> like the <laughs> magic thing? magic thing? Is it not like a teleporter, or...? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's like... There's more ways to get out of the city than just teleport, mate. Tell you, that Do I l- <laughs> Dripping with privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look He's the going. prince of the fishes! <laughs> like, like, boats are cool and stuff, but like, we need to get there real fast. Do I look like the sort of cop? Girl who's got a bloody teleporter on her. Oh, I don't know. Like, this place is really weird. This place? Have you seen it? It's an absolute old mate. Of course, we haven't got any bloody teleporters here. But there was one out by like a bridge somewhere, and then this big bony dragon happened, and then that, that we like lost our memories and were asleep for three days. Probably too much information. <laughs> no, it's alright, mate. You're good at this. No, you keep up. She's, she's going to um, get down off her perch because she, she wants to kind of get a bit of a closer look at who she's dealing with. Um, I mean, she's not worried. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone would be. <laughs> no, she's, she's not worried, but she wants to just get a bit of a, a closer look anyway. I draw prints, is that right? Um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, but like, from under the sea, so I don't think that really like, means much here. <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's all I need to know. Um, why don't you, uh, why don't you come with me? Uh, and she kind of, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's absolutely no worries about this guy at all. Um, she knows that there's not just her, there is, like, gonna be other people, like, kind of watching him anyway, but she, like, she knows that. You don't know that. Mm. Um, and she's gonna, she's like, that's absolutely fine. She's gonna take him in. Oh, but as she, as she starts walking, she's gonna stop him. Before you uh, come in, I want you to drop all your weapons. Uh Uh-huh. So, like, about that, I really can't. It's it's, like, they're just here. (laughs) Fine. And he will put the shield down and the trident down. Um, Can I roll an insight to see if I'm feeling any risk of danger? Fifteen. You rolled it. <laughs> Is he feeling any risk of danger? If he's got brain cell, he should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't take no insight. Uh, 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 no, no, I'd say no. I'd say I'd say no. It's it's. I wouldn't be too concerned. Like you're not, unless you do something. Okay. Like. Stupid. Yeah. Unless you do something like. Stupid, like you know. Stupid. That you know this is stupid. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, he's, he's not an aggressor. That yeah, is true. No, I think, I think if you're not an aggressor, you're going to be all right. Cool. If you comply, but like, you know, it's, if you're going to be like chill and cool, you're all right. God, if you Torrin's not there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you start getting ballsy, then maybe you should start uh, getting worried. But no, you, you should be all right if okay. you just sort of... So he just puts the weapons down and he's like, it's really cool because like, um, 
I got this thing with the weapons. Like, if I feel threatened, I could just they just instantly appear. So like, <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully <laughs> we're gonna be good, aren't we? I mean, I'll leave them here just as like a, as a symbol, <laughs> negotiation sort of thing. As long as everything goes right, you'll get them at the end. Don't you worry. Well, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll just magically appear on me, so I'm leaving with them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and if I need just, them, like, I've, I've got them. <laughs> she's just going to shake her and she's like, just come on. <laughs> and you just put them down and just like, get like, okay, so, where are we going? Um, so she's going to enter you into her, close into the commune, so she can have more of a private chat, I think, just to kind of get where you're, what, what you want to do and sort of more specifics of what you want. So, as you enter the commune, it looks like a kid's den. Uh, it looks like it's been thrown together by a series of different children. Uh, it's got like a blanket fort sort of made hanging from the ceiling, a series of different hammocks. Um, it's very sort of Lost Boys in its yeah, design. It's like it's never left. Yeah, um, so yeah, there are like hammocks going all the way up this um, like wooden structure. It's completely reclaimed. Like there are broken tables, broken sofas. Uh, there's a plate of like, f- like gone past moldy cheese and bread. Um, it's, it's a bit squalor. So Janice is just like looking around and kind of a bit straight faced and just bunk beds and like the sort of the forts and the blankets sort of thing and she's like, this place is like, just seems really, I don't know, like a bit thrown together. It's really fucking cool. <laughs> like it just got such a cool vibe to it. Like this could be like a really cool hideout place, like a hero secret office place. Like I could bring everyone here and then we could have all bunk beds and then we could like save like the world. I'll, I'll stop talking. And from one of the bunk beds you here, don't move. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> 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 with plants in the <laughs> session. Uh, and this small human child picks, peeks up from one of the bug bags wearing nothing but, but like rags uh, with a slingshot aimed roughly in her direction. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'm defenceless. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You can put it down. He's, he's all right. He's not going to start anything. It's, it's all good. Yeah, I know, because I'll do him. I'm <laughs> sure you would. Come on, Brian. <laughs> right. Now, Mr... Sorry, Prince... Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you like a seat? Um, yeah, sure. And then he'll just sit on something. Yeah, so, yeah, there's like a sofa there that's kind of cool. just like. Put to, it's, yeah, it's sort of it's a bit of a mess, but it's. In yeah. 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 <sighs> One like, of the cushions is missing. Yeah, <laughs> right. So. Not quite what you're used to, is it, I, I suspect? I mean, like. Yeah, it's nothing like the palaces or the like royal um, courts of the like school and stuff. But then like for the past few weeks, like I've been hanging out with my friends, and that's just been like one dive bar after another dive bar. Like one time we had to sleep outside, and Lily tried to make me like a pillow out of moss, and it was like really damp and squishy, which I would have thought I would have liked because it was wet, but it was also like really uncomfortable. So like you know, this is cool. <laughs> you talk quite a bit, don't you, mate? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, you crack on, but um, just an observation. Um, so, you want to get out of the city, don't you? Yeah, we've got to get to uh, needs to know place. Okay, well, there's a couple of... Uh, well, there's a couple of different ways you can go about doing that. Of course, there's uh, the, the Tombridge Gate, which uh-huh. is just the main gate to the city. Right, where does that take you? Out of the city. (laughs) 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 Mm-hmm. But obviously you'll probably attract quite a bit of attention, being all loo and stuff. I know I can't talk, I know I can't talk. Uh but you know. Or if you wanted to go down a bit of a risky uh, route, you could uh, go through the Triton of Grasp. What? The Triton of Grasp. The Triton of Grasp. Like Triton, like me. Tritons. 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 Yeah, possessive. Oh, <laughs> Tritons, like lots of me. Oh, I missed out that That's right. the, uh, I spoke to the DM there. <laughs> um, Tritons of Grasp. Tritons of Grasp. What's that? Why do I not know about that? Do I know about that? <laughs> uh, roll me history. Oh no. That's gonna go well, isn't it? You know, n- normally, I'm quite good at surface history. Eleven. <laughs> uh, 
Not really, no. Good at surface history, not yeah, anything that's to do with my people. <laughs> <laughs> um, no attention. You don't yeah. think it's anything to do with your people, so, oh, okay. so the Triton's Grasp is... Triton's Grasp. What's that? Something. Well, I'm asking... That. No, no, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying it's something. So it's uh, a bit more of a risky way. You'd need a very, very good sailor to help get you through. It's a... Uh, Sort of a back way out of the city. It's a very, very rough seas. Oh, is it going to be Enrico again? Would I know who Enrico is? Out of interest? Yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Enrico! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, maybe, but it's, it's difficult to get hold of. He's normally too busy shagging or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> He's a bit of a dick. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, a really good sailor. Maybe Enrico, somewhere else. I know people. I have... I have eyes and ears in all different places. Okay. And the magical option? I can get you a wizard who's also a really good sailor. <laughs> <laughs> and like, they're just magic it straight there? Oh, you're being sarcastic. <laughs> there isn't a magical option. Right. But we've like really got to get there in a hurry. Look, mate, I can only give you what I can give you. Okay. And I suppose, like, when Atlas tells you he wants you out the city, you kind of get out the city pretty fast. Um, uh, so you would know there is a third option. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there is by airship. Oh, of course. Yeah. There is a note that says an airship. Oh, just Let's go. Um, Okay, maybe there is a third option. The god in my head told yeah. me. Mm. Oh, what was that? You could buy airship. Airship? Airship. 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 So let's ship. In air. Oh. It flies. Mm. What's the humidity like up there? <laughs> I don't know. It's not really something I'm. It's not, I've never been on an airship. To be well, honest. like, Frayn and Arian can fly, and uh, Mike Torrin's always wanted to fly, so that's good. But, um, <laughs> like, I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't Steven know. is broken. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> As this nonsense plays out, <laughs> uh, we're gonna cut back to Torin and Frey. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dan. You're welcome. I feel like it's the opportune moment, and I'd be a fool not to seize it. Torin, so professional so, 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 so. I'm, I'm a professional. So Torin, uh, so they go up these steps through this dragon's mouth. What is in? Are you going in? Yeah. Or are you just standing at the top of the? So we were, I don't know. I, I mean, he's he's sort of thinking, can he get up the steps and onto the top of the dragon? <coughs> you can. Yes, you can try and get into the top of the dragon. So as you go into the, the building itself, mm -hmm. it is um, beautiful. It is. Uh, Marble structures with a uh, like, like gold running through it, um, just absolutely stunning. And at the back of the room is this huge dragonoid, like uh, statue, uh, and hanging from one claw is this massive scales, like uh, scales of judgment. They are like sort of forty foot radius, absolutely big things. Um, and it seems like you can't get to the second floor without being on one of the scales. Um, and the dragon you recognise, uh, this is a Temple of Bahamut. Oh, I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they had a temple to Bahamut here. Oh, they'll really like me here. Locked, because I think though, and he's going to turn around, and presumably from, he's like at the top of the steps, and from there he can see out across yeah, the hole. Absolutely. And he's going to say, oh, get, come, um, locked, because come, jump down. Okay. Um, she, she jumps down, has a little look over the... That's a nice view, isn't it? It's very nice. And Torin's now going to sort of um, sit down here. And Torin's going to sit down at the top of the steps, <laughs> looking out across yep. the bay. Uh, he says, um, and he's going to reach into his satchel and say, I got, I, do you remember when we went to that island and I ate a tortoise? Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah. And we met the lady, and there was a worm, and we killed things. Salvatera. Salvatera, wasn't she lovely? She was lovely. Remember there was those pink stones? 
Yeah. What do you like, Pink? I've noticed. Uh, well, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, oh dear. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, sorry. Of course I do, I mean, look at me. Oh, good, well, I thought there was pink stones and you are an elf, a high elf. Thank you. And a prince, a lady, and you would like jewellery. Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay. High elf ladies like jewellery. Right. Um, and so, I... <sighs> he doesn't really say anything or look a lot because he's just out across the bay and he sort of just passes to one side this box which she takes slightly bemused and baffled he's not now looking he's not okay. looking at her he's looking and she opens the box and now if he hears the box open he's gonna sort of he's now sort of looking like out the side out his side eye but not really did Torin check the workmanship on the <laughs> Torin has no idea oh, about sorry. whether it was good. <laughs> he has like literally no idea he's, he was took it to a good elf jewellers and they gave him a piece of jewellery in his head it will be good bloody hell it, it's exquisite oh yeah. <laughs> this is um <clears throat> Do you like it? I absolutely love it. Oh, good. Um, uh, can uh, I, I? I'm gonna. Can I put it on? Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I would help, but another time holds up these massive hands with great claws on them. Uh, um, well, this is, I gonna can't. Be, this is gonna be tricky, Mix. I've only got one arm. Oh, oh dear. No, hang on, hang on. I can, I can do this. Right. You can try and help if you like. Okay, so Torin will go. Okay. Um, okay, and he's gonna do his best to put it on. So she'll she'll pull the pull up her hair, hair away from her the back of her neck, and yeah. So he'll do his best to put it do it up the um, tiny little claws. <laughs> and is he looking for him whilst he's doing this? Like, yeah, I think so. But he's obviously now he's leant behind her, mm. so he can now look at her without her looking at him. This is the back of her head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's so as you're doing this, the job seems to get harder and harder the more you're trying. You start fumbling and you're like, oh, this clearly isn't meant for dragonborn hands. Um, but suddenly the light, the sort of setting, it, you know, the, the, it's getting later on in the day, um, it seems to become sort of weirdly dark and the corners from your eyes start blacking and, and you're just, you're fiddling with this lock in you, you're very much intently focusing on it, you barely notice this, um, until you feel a presence sort of staring at you hungrily, um, and you just hear, you came. And as you finally finish the clasp, uh, the necklace sort of weightlessly falls onto your neck beautifully, uh, and as you turn around to thank and you see him fall backwards into darkness uh, and Torin's body just starts disappearing but, but, what, to, to what seems to be like a shadowy portal and he is like descending slowly before your eyes you just turn around to like look at him and there he starts falling backwards is it too late for me to put out my arm? you can try uh, I extend my arm and try and, and try and grab his claw. Do you reach back? Yeah. So as you grab, both of you fall backwards into the darkness and suddenly nothing. And that is where we're gonna end <laughs> this session. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, wow. 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 Oh, that was a wild session. <laughs> <laughs> So many things. <laughs> oh, you are adorable. You are adorable. Oh, that was so cute. So well, have yourself an inspiration. Hey. You lot need to flirt more often. <laughs> Bringing down the sign. I'm sorry, I'm still, still something nasty about I'm... going to get jewelry for somebody you love, but think, can I get her cut whilst I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> I do you think he's going to the popular <laughs> There's a big difference between love and sex. Yeah. And Lily doesn't flirt. Anyway, I think we have a little 
little word from our Joy Amy. Hi. Oh, you, you're supposed to read this. And then yeah. several words from Joy Amy to music. I know, right? Sorry. <laughs> hey, hi there. So uh, if you've enjoyed watching, uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love the cheeky comments. Cheeky, um, cheeky. Uh, cheeky. You might be <laughs> cheeky. If you're cheeky. on Twitch, you could subscribe, mm. which would be really yes, helpful please. for us. And also means you have access to the Royal Dan Dice Discord, which means you can chat all things uh, from the Ashes and Justice League. There's loads of really cool fan art on there. Um, it's basically awesome. Um, yeah, so don't, you know, don't play it safe. Go out into the ro world and roll the damn dice! Yay. Arian makes some fake fireballs. Lily forces a family to relocate. <laughs> Torin considers an offer from an heir genasi to procreate. <laughs> Ratty men fight, Janaeus he smites. Frain fails to succeed at a strip tease. <laughs> Don't call Janaeus the fishy prince, or Steve Stephen might come and break your knees. <laughs> <laughs>